god, I love BRC. I love BRC. I'd be jamming behind the scenes every time I hear it play on my playlist. But hello, everyone. So why does the audio for the game sound so low? I know I don't need to raise it because it's probably going to be above my voice if I do so. But hello, the model is so cute. Thank you. Thank you. I love her. I love her. I love it. I love the accessories. She's so cute. Like you have no idea. Like I've just been messing with these little wiggly ears. <laughs> on the reindeer headband for like the longest time because I'm like, they're so fluffy! Oh, thank you for the head pads! Thank you! Thank you! You're so sweet! The wiggles are premium though! I know, aren't they? And it's like they have so nice physics! Like I love how floppy they are! They're so cute! <laughs> I'm a cry! <laughs> I'm like, I've been crying over just looking at my mom. Just like, oh, she's so cute with the floppy ears. Baby. But how is everybody? Hi, Hershey. Hi, Aiko. Hi, Salem. Hi, Savvy. Hi, Dwayne. I hope you guys are doing well and having a wonderful Saturday so far. It's been a chill one for me because I've been in the art void once again. And I'm making progress. I'm doing a lot, a lot listen a lot of line art a lot of line art it's a lot it's a lot and I knew what I was setting myself up for when it came to the stuff that I, I'm drawing out and I'm, I'm not even halfway done not even not even halfway not even halfway done with the well kind of halfway done with the line arting because like I just need to add like I think small little details on like the fit and then I gotta go back through and do some uh some close-ups of like some concept stuff that I want I want people to be able to see so that way when I hand it off to the proper authorities they uh they take care of the things but I hope everyone's having a wonderful Saturday so far I honestly forgot where we last left off on this game but I'm not gonna hold you guys too long Y'all know what time it is? We're playing the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. We know this is going to become a just chatting stream once again. But I'm going to try my best to speed run this thing game because I feel like I know how much time is left. And if I don't shut up, we're not going to finish it today. And my goal is to finish it today because I have a feeling. Let me see. I think next Saturday I might be out. And then, like, my next available time will be, like, the 23rd. So, I'm gonna have to pick a new game if we do fit manage to finish this. Either that or just take a very extended break. Or either just start streaming on Sundays and wait till the new year to figure out what new uh, narrative game I want to pick up after this. I just know I cannot carry this game into 2024. I refuse. I'm, I literally will quit. <laughs> Even if we're at the end, even if we're at the credit scene, and I, that's all I gotta do is just turn on the game just for the credits. I'm not gonna turn it on. <laughs> I'm not gonna do this. We're not carrying this into 2024. I'm leaving it in 2023 because I played this game for like two years. Two to three years. We're not doing this. Any case. So, oh my god, it's Zazy. <laughs> Hi, Zazie. We're actually at part two. This is chapter five of part two. So the very final frontier, Zazie. Yes, two years. Two years, and that's because a lot of the time I, I don't know how to shut up. But no, I was looking through like my clips and like the very first like Ace Attorney clip was like captured in like 2021. So. When I saw that, I was like, oh no, we've got to finish this game. I've been playing this game like prior to my days as a VTuber. This is too long. <laughs> we've got to finish this game. So one year was you just talking to chat during the game. <laughs> really? It really was. But also this, I understand this is a long game too. Cause like the Ace Attorney series is by no means a short game. It is not, especially the last chapter, which is why I said 
I'm hoping to finish what we have left of this chapter today. Because I see there's only like, I think, two more parts that I have to tackle. Just two more. And then we'll be done. But I remember how lengthy the very end is. And I'm like, oh, this might be a six hour stream. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But we'll try to speed run it because there's a lot of dialogue. But it's, it's all important, I promise. But yeah, for those who don't want to get spoiled, just FYI, you're going to get spoiled of the entirety of the game if you stay here. So best to leave a lurk if you do not want to get spoiled from start to finish, because this is about to break down everything of what we've witnessed for the past two years of playing this game. The Reaper and the Assassin Exchange. Okay, so what I recall from last time. Um, oh, yeah, I don't think you were here, uh, ZayZ. Let me pull up the court record real quick so we can talk about people. So... We, we already know who these folks are. But uh, Judge G, jo, G, G Goku. G Goku. Yes. We know for a fact he hid this man's body in his gigantic ass suitcase. We know for a fact. Because I believe he's already basically told himself, like, he already had his whole breakdown and was just like, yeah, he snuck up into my room when I was trying to travel back to japan and he tried to assassinate me and i i basically disarmed him pretty quickly took his gun blasted him while like you know folks were off the ship so they couldn't hear the thing and so i dumped his body in my suitcase knew i couldn't just leave him there because otherwise his body would decompose and so i threw him in a large ass fridge on the boat and waited until we disembarked on england's ground took the large suitcase the one where i said mm, gee i wonder why yeah that clip mm-hmm that's where that came from. That's why I made that statement because I knew exactly who was in that case. And I remember when I played this offline for the very first time, I was looking at that giant suitcase and I was just like, why does this look large enough to hide a body? And why is it in the photo? This is going to come back later. And sure enough, it did. You think as a judge, he just <laughs> self defense. He did. Listen, Zazy, he did. He did at one point in time. And then he was just like, nope, I got caught with my hand with my pants down. No. I forgot how uh we we can we came across the part part where he's just like, Yeah, no, this wasn't self-defense. This was actually intentional. Like you you tried to murder this man. You actually technically tried to murder this man. Because I can't remember if we revealed that too much yet, but I'll go into detail once we get to the end. He's about to say, when Goku get that law degree before you look at screen. <laughs> oh my god, yes, Goku did go. go, go. This, this, this is his ancestor. Don't, don't they look the same, Dwayne? You know, Goku from Dragon Ball Z and then G Goku? Mm -hmm. they're, bo they're both uh, in, the, in the court system. Mm -hmm. They're doing a great job. Too bad this man couldn't bring his boxes of wine to a witness stand. Daisy, please. Also, hi, Dio. Welcome in. How's your Saturday treating you so far? <laughs> when a judge won't go through the judicial process to prove his... Yeah, he tried it. And what's wild about it is because he's a judge, he... Because everybody else got their bags checked. Everybody had to have their bags searched before they, you know, left the boat and landed on England. He got a, he basically got a pass just because he was a judge. That was it. Because he was a judge, they said, oh, we don't need to search your suitcase. You can bring bombs and God knows what else in that suitcase. We trust you. You're part of the legal system. So yeah, you ain't going to do nothing wrong. That's, that's the only way he got away with that. And I'm just like, that's some bullshit. Y'all trust y'all's government uh, folks. To not be murderous and not do shady ass things. And yet this man got a whole ass body in his suitcase. For real? Trifling. Oh, so, uh, Dio. Um, no, they're hanging from my hands. Can't you see? I have hands. I have, I have controllers up. For whatever reason, it just, you know, decides to kind of, you know, pin itself on my chest. But they are obviously on my hands. You can't say otherwise. Teehee. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
It's been good. Did food shop, helped parents with something and just done talking, calling with a friend. Oh, nice. Sounds like a very productive day. I'm glad. I hope the talk with your friend went really well. So why? So this is why you're holding the pillow. Someone gave me the pillow. I didn't put that on. Someone gave me the pillow. You can still give me the pillow if you'd like. It's an option. You just got to use channel points. I've never talked the uh, taken the life of another, nor have I instructed another to kill. <clears throat> I've been investigating the truth behind the Reaper for years, and I was aware of Gregson's involvement. That's the reason why I went to Fresno Street that day, and how I came to discover the body. The point is, no common thread exists between myself and Gregson and Dr. Wilson. Clearly, therefore, there's no reason to suspect me of being behind the assassin exchange. I wouldn't be so sure. But please continue, Von Z Van Zeeks. <laughs> the talk with the friend was just making sure that they get their day started and keeping them <clears throat> company, nothing serious. Well, that's still good. Because uh, I do have, you know, some friends who keep me accountable for some things. Especially when it came to remembering to <laughs> to you take my inhaler because it was very important for me to take my uh, once a day dose of inhaler. Which right now I'm doing relatively well without. I haven't had to use my backup inhaler. I haven't had coughing issues. So I'm just like, please, can my lungs stay in this good good shape? until I get health insurance again, because I cannot afford it <laughs> right now. And I'm hoping um, I won't need it for a good while. Hi, Bafa, welcome in. How's your Saturday treating you so far? So you deny all accusations by the prosecution, both that you are the Reaper, the Bailey, and that you masterminded the exchange, uh, assassin exchange. I acknowledge that the public at large believe me to be, leave, be the Reaper. However, that's a fallacy, which I alone am in a position to forswear. Naturally, the prosecution believes the testimony just given by the accused to be untrue. Ryanosuke Norihodo. Oh no, he called me by my whole name. What are you about to say? Not the needing health insurance thing, but the healthy lungs thing. Oh, that sounds... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which I'm happy for because... Uh, Unfortunately, when uh, when layoffs happen, that came to mind, and I was like, "Oh shit, I don't, I can't order any more of my inhalers because I won't be insured." And so I had enough to last me for like two more months, and then I took the last two months of it, and I just kind of watched my symptoms with my breathing, and it's like it 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 improved. So that's a good thing. I just needed like another three months of it because like. What happened was, I think back in maybe, I want to say maybe about May-ish, I was off it for a month and then I started coughing again. I had told my, um, <clears throat> my, uh, God, what's, what's the respiratory, uh, doctor's name? There's, there's a specific name for them. The folks who deal with like, uh, breathing symptoms and such like that. Um, pulmonary. Yeah. Pulmonary doctor, uh that I was still having trouble. And so he's just like, yeah, just, you know, see if the, the 100 milligrams a day still works for you. And so I got like three months, luckily, before I got the unfortunate news of uh, being let go of my previous employment. And so um, I had gone through like roughly about a month and then I had like two more months left after that. And it's just like, it's been a good time. So let's hope it stays that way. Roughly about a, a month, in a half, I want to say, since then, it's been good, healthy lungs. Not this judge who probably very evil wearing eyeliner. Stop, Zazy, please. Uh, yeah, here's hoping. Hi, Wolfie, welcome in. How's your Saturday treating you so far? Hopefully the video you send you will help. Yes, please do. Because, oh, speaking of videos, because I realized how much I was struggling with my lungs. 
because I go back and edit like some of the videos that I did back in May and I hear me coughing and I'm like, oh no. I see I was still struggling to breathe <laughs> back then. Uh, just woke up again, good morning. Let me ask you, why are you here? What really brings you to this courtroom? I could ask you the same, sir. Because before you were a defense lawyer and now you're the prosecution, so... Tell us how you really feel. A desire to uncover the truth. Even if the truth proves your client to be guilty, he's not guilty, though. I know that for a fact. He's not guilty. From all my experiences in the courtroom, I've come to realize something. And I say that because every... Thank you for the head pats. Every ace attorney game, except for like one or two, really one in particular comes to mind, which I'm not going to spoil which one, but it's in the first trilogy. I will say that. Um, where we were defending a client, they have not been guilty. They've always been given a not guilty uh, verdict. But there is one in the trilogy where you actually want to get them a guilty verdict because they are an awful person. You're just telling Jay you may go to Momo. Oh, yes, Wolfie, please. Please let me see you so we can fangirl over Raihan, my hubby. Please, please, please let me know if you go. Kazuma, you snuck this whole man into your wardrobe to legalize. Yes, yes, exactly, Zazie. Thank you, thank you. Call him out for his filth. The truth can't be hidden. Sooner or later, it will come out. So it's always my intention to work with my client in pursuit of the truth. I want you to remember what you just said. Oh God, you're gonna use that against me, aren't you? Enough dilatory chatter. Counsel for the defense, proceed to cross-examine the witness. Ah, yes, my lord. I know exactly what you're thinking, Kazuma. I know you're just waiting to point it out. Yep, he is. The contradiction you're convinced lies somewhere with this man's testimony. Oh yeah, I, I heard the contradiction. So I'm pretty sure I have a guess as to what it what it is. Ugh. Uh huh. Let's talk about it, Von Zeeks. So you're not what the general public refer to as the infamous Reaper of the Bailey. Exactly. Don't imagine for a moment that the court will be satisfied with a one-word answer on this. I realize that. If you're intending to comment on every sentence, this could take a while, Kazuma. Didn't you find it disturbing, though? That one by one, defendants who'd been acquitted after your unsuccessful prosecution were killed. Let me answer that question by posing another. If one by one, defendants who'd been acquitted after your successful defense were killed, would you find that... <laughs> I actually would, Banzi! <laughs> I actually would! <laughs> This man. Okay, you gotta convince your friend to go with you. You wanna dress up as Blaze Blue characters with them? It's interesting you say Blaze Blue. It's very interesting that you say that. Because <laughs> a lot of people who know my old name think that character, like my old name, is in relation to that game. Not to say I hate that game, but me and that, 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 that game have bad blood because every fucking person on the moon and planet kept saying, Hey, is your, is your name similar to the, the Blaze Blue game? And I'm like, no. That franchise stole my OC's name. You want it, you want me to pull up the old guy online, you know, forms that I have of creating that name before that game's release? Because I still got him. I still got him. Like, dead ass. So if anything, they stole my OC's name and they just removed the S and E. 
So, yeah. 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 <laughs> you just want to be Susano? Listen, do your thing, Wolfie. I ain't going to judge you. I ain't going to judge you at all. Let this man cook. No, I ain't letting that man cook. He burned himself. He don't need to burn himself. Listen, Dwayne. <laughs> I ain't exposing myself on Guy Online, but just know, just know, I've been on there for quite some time, a very long time before I said, oh, you know what, I'm not, I'm not coming back, and every now and then I take a peek, every, every, every now and then I take a little, little peeky poo in terms of seeing that, and no, my old online name wasn't Blaze Blue on there, so quit trying to look, it was not that. So, ha! <laughs> Don't worry about it. what it was. Don't worry about it. But anyone who's paid attention to my streams could probably, maybe, possibly, find me. But I ain't gonna try and reveal myself openly. <laughs> but you'll let you know? Yeah, let me know, Wolfie. Disturbing. I couldn't possibly say how that would make me feel with a one-word answer like that. You should be disturbed, Rianosuke. What you mean? Exactly. Well, <laughs> that told me. <laughs> he says, what do you think in too many words? <sighs> basically yeah he, that's i mean i get what he was going for but it's still it's just like the way he said it i'm just like yes i would still find that disturbing but yeah probably some other words come to mind in regards to that i'd be like damn they don't killed off what's his name not just defended himself him in court like what two days ago what happened but even though I'm not the Reaper, that doesn't mean I ignored all the hearsay. As you shouldn't. You say for years. How long exactly? Since the very first time the Reaper's influence was felt in this courtroom. Ten years ago now. And your investigations led you somehow to Inspector Gregson, you're saying? I didn't want to believe it. He has a personal acquaintance. We'd worked on cases together in the past. A friend, even. It felt like a betrayal, but I demanded per uh, permission to search his office at the yard without his knowledge. Which is when you found his secret notebook, isn't it? It's when I first learnt of the location he noted only as Gruus and the appointment was 5 p.m. on the 31st. Though I didn't know the significance of those details at the time. So, now we're the nub of the matter. As it turns out, the significance for me personally was very unfortunate. Is it his lover? <laughs> no, it's not his lover. What the why did you go to that specific location? Shattered. Hello, welcome in. Happy Saturday to you. How you doing? Well, also, you need him to cosplay Nanami for JJK for read. Wait, who? You talking about Jay or your friend? Another friend. And also, respectable. Respectable. See, if Silas was here, if if Silas was here, I could probably guess why. And I say Silas in particular because they have a very, very, very iconic intro. But but it only gets triggered when Silas is here. Your friend who also goes by, oh my God. <laughs> not this, not you knowing two J's, but also valid. 
I thought that if it was the Reaper's headquarters, then by turning up there at five o'clock, I would catch whoever was involved red-handed. Sadly, all that was awaiting me. Kinda hot, is that what you're gonna say, Shattered? Is that what you're gonna say? You're here but lurking, got modding to do? No, take your time, Lime. You know this is a lurk-friendly stream, especially today. So do not feel bad, enjoy the modding work. Was the inspector's corpse. And they do know each other too, which makes it funnier. Hey, Jay, and then they both look, huh? Huh, you talking to me? It's like, yes, I'm talking to one of you, yes. <laughs> Figure out which one it is! Yes, even though it wasn't designed for you, you walked straight into the trap set by Judge Jigoku. I keep saying judge, and there's no judge there. Exactly. Jigoku had intended on uh, to implicate Hugh Bone. But unhappily for me, I arrived at the scene first. Ha! A ridiculous, careless blunder. Moved on to just throwing insults around, I see, then Kazuma. He really hates Van Seeks because he feels like... I'll give you some 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 reason why Kazuma is going so hard on Van Seeks right now. It's because he feels like he has some ties to his father's death. So, it's funny because Van Seeks hates a lot of Easterners, or really dislikes, I won't say hate. But he dislikes and distrusts them to some degree because he believes that Kazuma's father killed his brother. And then Kazuma also feels the same, you know, dislike for Van Zeeks because he feels that his father was wrongfully accused and basically placing guilt in of uh, his father killing his brother. So... They both hate each other, well, dislike each other, respectfully. It's the circle of violence, yes, and family trauma. Family deaths and trauma is just terrible. <laughs> Think what you will, it doesn't change the truth. There's a link between you and Gregson, though. Of course. We were close acquaintances. We'd worked on numerous cases together. And it sues us all! Stop, Zazie, please! I consider the man to be a mentor of sorts. He taught me a number of important lessons. He, he did? Such as what? You gonna reveal him? Why, why get so quiet? Oh, oh my fucking god. Are you kidding me? Really? Where to buy good fish and chips and such like? Well, <laughs> that was convincing, it was. Dr. Wilson was a coroner, of course, but that was some time in the past. In any case, I understand it was several years ago now that he was invited to work at a Japanese university. That's right. He was a visiting professor at the Imperial Yumei University in Tokyo. It should be unambigu um, unambiguously clear, then, that no link exists between myself and him. In other words, I had no motive for sending some assassin across the oceans to kill the man. You really need to play these games? I highly recommend them, Mr. Cadzolo. Especially if you like, like any kind of like mystery drama and puns. Like, it's not meant to be taken seriously by any means, but it does have some some nice uh, mystery drama, crime drama flair to it that really appeals to me. But I like I like it for the comedic aspect for it as well. Where it's just like, it doesn't get so super serious. They always break it up with like, ha ha, laugh at this. <laughs> We're funny. It sounds plausible enough, and I want to believe it. But something about this doesn't quite, uh, just doesn't quite sit right with me. But how's your Saturday treating you so far, Mr. Cadzilla? Certainly as it stands, there's no evidence to suggest that you concocted the scheme. 
But as it stands, we have only the accused's insistence of his innocence. Sorry? Perhaps there is some reason that would explain why he masterminded the exchange, uh, the assassin exchange. And if a reason could be established later in these proceedings. The accused claim in this testimony that he wasn't involved would amount to perjury. True, but yes. Clearly, Kazuma-sama is out for Van Zeke's. And to identify a reason and use it to make his case, yeah. So if we don't identify something first, we'll gain the advantage. This could be dangerous. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. sharing your community with me and also those coming in from Sheppy Stream. Hello! If you don't know who I am, I am Blaze at Midnight. I am a dragon VTuber here on Twitch and we are playing The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, which is like a point-and-click drama murder mystery. We play lawyer simulator type thing. We have thing. company! Also, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Midnight Dragon Cool. Hope you enjoy your stay. But yeah, we just vibing. But how was stream, Sheppy? What did you play? Oh, excuse me. I gotta, I gotta see what you, what you did. What, what were you playing? Ooh, Resident Evil 4. How was that going? <laughs> was it fun? Did you beat the game? Did you do all the things? Did you 100% it? Tell me all the things. And also, if you need to raid and run, Sheppy, I completely understand your mental and physical health comes first, and that goes for all the raiders coming into chat. If you're tired, hungry, and need to take care of some other things, please do so. But if you just want to vibe and see what this game is about and also, you know, see what I'm about, feel free to stick around. Um, I will warn, though, for those of y'all playing the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles yourself. Oh. 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 Thank you for the head pads. Um, we are at the very last case of this game, like part two last case, like chapter five. So, if you want no spoils, I highly encourage you to either lurk heavily or leave the stream. Because I do try to make sure that people don't get spoiled, um, even from raids, if you're just coming in. We also played LEGO Fortnite at the start. Oh my god, I missed that! I gotta see that. I've been engrossed in arting for like the past few days, so like... Twitch and social media has been off the back burner for, for me because I've just been opening up CSP and just being like, yep, we're zooming. We're zooming on art. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Yulia. They are on my hands. They are simply on my hands. Mm hmm mm hmm <laughs> But I hope everyone's having a wonderful Saturday so far. And also, if you want to know me a little bit more, here's a nice little raid video. Enjoy. My path is the only path I can take. Yeah, I know it's chosen. There ain't no easy road. I gotta create it. It's not given. I'm just living. I'm just living. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through. Shake it up your seat. Hold the drive. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through. Watch where you're going, hold and drive Let the downside up the top notch, what I'm here to do I top that, do it like this, do it like that Do it like how we did, but now I do it like what? Feed your artist well, I the Determination, I just imagine the Things that happen, except the ass lap You go there, please gotta keep asking Losers terribly acting fat What you don't possess, it's not in stores I work my ass while you in a bad store Turning dust to gold Hardcore Coming through, coming through, coming through now Coming through, coming through, coming through now Coming through, coming through, coming through Shake it up the seat, hold the drive Coming through, coming through, coming through now Coming through, coming through, coming through now Coming through, coming through, coming through Watch where you go and hold the drive Coming through, coming through, coming through now Coming through, coming through, coming through now Coming through, coming through, coming through Shake it up the seat, hold the drive Coming through, coming through, coming through now Coming through, coming through, coming through now Coming through, coming through, coming through 
So the stream was great. You completed it. The uh, M boss was looking wild. Ooh. Ooh, I'm at the I'm at the take a little peeky peek. I feel like I've seen like the end boss to Resident Evil 4, but it's been a minute. I'm trying to think. Who, who did I watch stream that recently? Somebody somebody I followed I watched play that recently. I can't remember who though. I remember. God, who was it? Oh, 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 never mind. No, I'm getting the two confused. <laughs> never mind. It's, it was another Resident Evil game because I believe they, they finished the uh, Resident Evil Village, if I'm not mistaken. But I remember that boss being a pain in the ass, especially in the, uh, the DLC. No spoils, no spoils, but yeah. I do, I do remember watching them play that. That was a fun time. Convincing testimony by Lord Van Zeeks. Certainly. With no apparent connection between the three men, there's no way to establish a motive. The testimony seems unaccessible as far as I can see. Oh dear me! What a bleak expression! I agree. There doesn't appear to be any particular link between them at first glance. But with the inclusion of one other person... Mm-hmm... Mm-hmm. I must be overthinking it, surely. Oh, no, you're not. Another person, Mr. Norhodo? I need to think back over all the information we've gleaned over so far. All right, and I'll review my notes about the case and all, and all the evidence in the court record. Could it be that Lord Van Zeeks has something to hide after all? Oh, he does. But he probably subconsciously forgot. It's okay. Because if we look... Hold up, first off. In case I make a mistake. I don't need this game shooting me. <laughs> but I do want to... Did the bomb go off? I did not feel it nor hear it. If it, if it did. But high second. Am I missing it? No, it's, it's over here. Yeah, here we go. This is what I wanted to look at. Let me see this. Mm-hmm. Dr. Gregson and John H. Wilson. Ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he did. He definitely forgot. It's his brother's. His it's his brother's death. Tee hee. Here you go. What's this? An autopsy report? Wait. This is ten years old. From the autopsy of Lord Clint Van Zeeks. What? My brother's autopsy report? I'm pleased to see. The fence doesn't intend to run from the undeniable truth. Mm-hmm. Yes, I get it. I get it. You want you want to set up a trap for me, but guess what? I see your trap and play reverse card because you're about to fall into my trap. It's okay. Order in the court. What reason do you have for presenting a ten-year-old autopsy report here, counsel? All you know is Van Zeeks is innocent because he. Lo oh my God, Dwayne! No, don't you fall for the dollar store vampire as well? Not this. This, the autopsy report of the professor's final victim, is an undeliable link, indeliable link between Inspector Gregson, Dr. Wilson, and the defendant. Not that accursed name again, the professor. I personally researched all the court records relating to that case. Yeah, because you have an obsession over that whole case. Yeah, thank you for the I know that at that time, the autopsy was considered sacrilege to the victim's souls. And for a member of the acristocy like Lord Clint Van Zeeks, it was unthinkable. 
but someone implored the powers that be to that be to allow the autopsy to go ahead, Inspector Gregson. He declared that he was certain he would obtain conclusive proof from the procedure. And it was Dr. Wilson who conducted the autopsy. His signature is clearly visible on the document. As promised by Gregson, the autopsy did indeed procure, uh, produce evidence. Evidence that conclusively proved Kenshin Asogi was guilty of the murders. In my brother's dying moments, he mustered all his remaining strength to leave that vital clue behind. Not an undefeatable defense? Don't y'all defend this man! He at least 1k? Wow. Y'all really defending this man. Hi, Mari. Welcome in. How's your Saturday treating you so far? Throw them all in jail? That's what I'm saying, Cyril. Jail for everyone. Everyone in this courtroom. Jail. Except Ryanosuke. Nah, no, nah, Ryanosuke as well. He's committed some crimes. Lock him up with Kazuma. They can be cellmates. Teehee. For my entertainment. Don't ask why. Don't ask no questions. Don't fall for the good value! <laughs> Not the good value vampire! Indeed, that was the key to in indicting the professor for his crimes and the conclusive evidence that convicted him. It enabled Lord Van Zeeks here to avenge his brothers since this death with a marvelous victory in court. A marvelous victory, was it? I wonder if that's really true. What? Could the same be said if it turned out that the key piece of evidence in question was in fact fabricated? If the inspector, the coroner, and the pro prosecutor all concluded together to cast an innocent Japanese man as a master murderer and send him to his death. You not... Okay. We'll, we'll hang on to that, that ideal, Kazuma. We'll hang on to it. That's outrageous. And now, ten years later, for some reason, the secret has been threatened and needs protecting. Which is why the inspector and the coroner had to be silenced, isn't it? Oh, By someone in power in Japan and in Britain, using the two killers recruited for the assassin exchange. You, you cooking, Kazuma! You cooking! Alright, go ahead! Order! Order at once! Ten years ago, my father was convicted in this very courtroom as a mass murderer to be sentenced to death. It was all a sham, and I swore to myself that I'd prove it. Which is why I had to come to Britain, whatever the cost. You and this wine, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't waste it. Don't you do it. Don't waste it. Don't you waste it. I mean it, Van Zeeks. Don't you crush that chalice with your hand. I will literally kick you in your ankles. You'll have to forgive me if I feel compelled to toast to this vengeful Nipponese tenacity of purpose here. However, I, I know he's about to do it. I know it. I would put money on it. He's about to do it after this line. I know it, you fucking wine waster, you bitch. <laughs> Damn him, I can't stand his ass. He always does this. We can't have nothing nice. Nothing nice goes in his hands. It's always just destruction. He who fails to squash his emotions in the courtroom has failed as a lawyer. Thank you for giving me Dracky, Drac and Daddy. I'm stressed and I hate this man. He got glass. <laughs> Thank you, Sheffy. Like, I don't understand how he's crushed so many chalices and he ain't, you know, rushed off to the emergency room. Like, this man should have, like, severe lacerations all over his palm. But no, nah, he's just, he's just, he's just that vampire. He's that kind of vampire. Not you should have been that chalice. <laughs> oh, you just wait till another animation happens, Dwayne. I'm, I'm waiting to see if he does it again. He's done it w once in this courtroom. The other one is just like, no, now, now you just out of order. He could, uh, 
he could uh uh huh yeah I'm here I'm I'm trying to hear the uh the explanation Sheffy. And yes, nipple knees is what he he calls them. I know it sounds like I'm saying nipple knees. I'm not. It's nipping nip not nipping <laughs> nipple knees because nippon is uh is uh in reference to Japan in Japanese if I'm not mistaken. That's the only thing I remember from like my Japanese studies briefly. <laughs> Come on, Kazuma. You know this won't wash. You're claiming your father was misrepresented in a trial that took place a whole decade ago. You thought you heard nipple, but she was gonna be quiet. Caption always captures nipple knees. I knew it. <laughs> Whenever I say it right, but it's, you know, I'm not saying that, but sure, sure, we'll call it that. <laughs> really does Salem oh and people I wonder what you if YouTube captures it the same way <laughs> I'm speaking to my YouTube audience right now when I upload this VOD later let me know in the comments if it says nip on nipple knees or nip on knees when I say it in in captions oh now it says nip on knees look at that <laughs> not in I P P O N it's a uh, Nip on in the knees. I love this for me. I love this. <laughs> we all know what it said. Oh, God. You must see that without evidence. That's nothing more than a wild accusation. As it happens, I have evidence. Of course you do. What? As the court has heard, I crossed the channel to France with Gregson on 31st. I went with him on the pretext of being the assassin recruited to kill Seshiro Jigoku. Yes, we all remember this, Kazuma. You said, well, Jigoku basically came up to you and said, Hey, my guy, would you like a free, you know, all expenses paid trip to England? All you got to do is kill, kill a guy for me. And, you know, Kazuma's like, ha, ha, ha. You're joking, right? And Jigoku's like, nah, man. No, nah, I'm dead serious. <laughs> and Kazuma's like, well, sure. Why not? I can kill a guy for you. All expense paid trip to England? Hell yeah. <laughs> That's what he said with this whole chest. <laughs> Confirm getting into England is that easy. Oh man, that's so sad. <laughs> Free exchange trip in exchange for Moyada. Yes. But my true intentions were to make the inspector tell me the truth. I know, I know, but it's just like it's the fact you agreed to this. You agreed to this. Let's let's not forget that fact. You said yes with your whole chest. What truth? The truth about the uh, evidence, and he acknowledged what he, what I'd already deduced. There's a closely guarded secret about what went on in that autopsy ten years ago. What? A secret? I know nothing of any secret. While we waited for my supposed mark in Jigoku's cabin, I drew my clan's Ill, uh, illustrious sword, Karuma, before the inspector's eyes. He very quickly understood what my true motive was. So you were there when he was alive. Right. So you're that Asogi's young lad, are you? And what? You're gonna cut me down with that thing? Is that it? That will very much depend on your answers you give me. My question. Hey, hey, look, look, there's that case. Hold up, let me move, let me move to the side so y'all can see it. Look. Look, that's 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 literally his coffin right there. The man on screen's coffin is right there on screen. That's his coffin. That's that's where Judge Jigoku placed his body. That that suspicious case right there, right there beside my head on screen. Mm-hmm. That's where he placed this man's corpse. It's wild. I want to know what really happened ten years ago. The truth. That's all. Before we get into it, let me make one thing clear. I still believe your father was the professor. There's no doubt in my mind. Hmm. 
But unfortunately, back then, we didn't have the evidence we needed to make the crime stick. So you... So, you admit it then. The evidence used in my father's trial was fabricated. It was the, for the good of the country. No, it wasn't. But you know, I'm glad that you, you agreed to it. Anyway, I was just following orders. Orders? What exactly did you do? Speak! I'm not saying another word. Even if your life depends on it? Ooh, not the threat! That's right, even then. Ooh! So that's where the tip of the sword broke. Oh, Kazuma-sama. He's okay. Gregson was fine. He ain't kill him. The results of Clit Van Zeke's autopsy were fabricated. Then the investigating officer Gregson and the lead coroner Wilson must have known about it. He would he could not. He literally could not because he wanted information so badly from that man. So killing him would basically kill off a lead towards learning of the true nature of his father's death. And they can only have been ordered to pervert the course of justice in that way by one man. The man leading the case for the prosecution, Barack Manzi. Mm, okay, keep that suspicion going, sure. Sure! Sure. In other words, the defendant did have cause to organize this exchange of assassins. Exactly. And as was established earlier, it has to have been the Reaper himself who liaise, uh, liaise with Jigoku in Japan to arrange the exchange. Ah. So it follows that the Reaper's true identity can only be that of the man who stands accused in this courtroom today, Barack Von Zeeks. You, you still going on about this. <clears throat> What proof do you have that covers that? It's just saying. Kazuma Soki. What? What you've just told the court. Are you absolutely certain of your facts? He's not. Did Gregson really fabricate evidence for that trial ten years ago? Oh, well, you know, I think that is true. He did say that. I heard it with my own ears. His shameful admission. I know, Van Zeeks. I know. In that case, I know. The name of the Reaper. Do you now? Wh what? Lord Van Zeeks. I gave no such orders. I know that for certain. Which narrows down the remaining possibilities. To one. Gee, I wonder who! Go ahead, Van Zeeks! Say it with your whole chest in front of this courtroom! If Lord Van Zeeks isn't the one behind all this, then yes, there is only one other person who could have done something like that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It was Blaze it! Lock her up! No, it wasn't me! Listen, I know I'm the girl on top, but still, it was not me. <laughs> Solidary confinement. Wow. 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 You know, I can live a thousand years. I can definitely live a thousand years plus in a dungeon. In a dungeon. That's wild. You want me to rot. That's wild. That's wild. That's what not you cheer it as well, Dwayne. What is this? What is this mutiny? Don't get out of my chat. What is this? <laughs> How y'all gonna place blame on me and I ain't even in this game? Y'all already snatched my edges y yesterday. Y'all need to do it again, metaphorically. Don't do it for real either. I'm cute, look at my hair. Look at my Christmas decoration. I'm cute, I'm cute. You can't guilt a cute person. Look at me, I'm cute. I'm cute, I'm cute, 
I'm cute baby. I'm cute baby. I'm baby. I'm cute. You can't come for me. <laughs> Thank you for the head pads. I'm cute. Oh! Joker. <laughs> that sounds like something a criminal would say. You're not wrong. <laughs> you. Oh my god! What the fuck? Oh my god! <laughs> going back to playing this game. Y'all mean to me. I just had a feeling this name was going to come up. Oh yes. Yes indeed. The true identity of the infamous infamous Reaper of the Bailey is. <gasps> <clears throat> Gee. If it's not like, you know. If it's not Cosm, if it's not Gregson, and it's not Cosma, and it's not Van Zeeks, it's only got to be the man, the man at the top, the man at the top, the man at the top, the man at the top. Mhm, 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 mhm. It's only got to be the man at the top. Which is why. When uh, Judge G Goku was like, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, I know who I was in cohorts with. I know. I literally cannot say here because I don't know if I got like a red dot on my head. <laughs> I would not be surprised if that was what G Goku was fearful of. Like he was just going through his mind. It's just like, if I say this in this courtroom, first off, no one's going to believe me. Second off, I can't guarantee my, you know, safety back to Japan if I even go back there since I'm already accused of guilt here. Also, there's a three-minute ad coming. So let me not say anything. Let me know what you see in the ad void and we'll uh we'll continue on with uh with this wonderful story. Actually, you know what? We'll we'll take a quick little break since there's an ad going. So y'all can see some pretty art and listen to some nice music. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I told you it was going to be a quick break. I just wanted to give y'all a chance to ke play catch up on what's about to happen because y'all are not in for what's about to happen after all of this. But yeah, that's probably what jo what was going through uh, Judge Jigoku's mind when he was just like, yeah, I can't really say because <laughs> they're literally staring down at me right now. Is the Lord Chief Justice himself, Lord Mel Strongheart. What? Lord Strongheart? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. Yes. It's true that 10 years ago, the defendant handled the prosecution of the professor in court. But he only took over the case after his brother, Lord Clint Van Zeeks, has been, had been killed. Suddenly lighting is sinister? Yes. <laughs> Where my bitch was right, cookies? I got you, Zazie. I will draw you some cookies. That says bitch was right. <laughs> right there on the box. I can only assume that this is the most inappropriate joke in British judiciary here. Oh no, we dead serious. Come on down! This the price is right, my guy! Come on down! Come on! Defend your case! <laughs> you want a one-way ticket to jail? Come on! Come on! I want to hear your story. Well, Lord Van Zeeks? Ten years ago, I was very new to my profession. But I had a burning desire to avenge my brother's death, so I pleaded for control of the case. The investigation to that point, the supplication of the Lords to allow my brother's corpse to be examined, all the evidence I was given, the autopsy reports, it all came from you. Mm-hmm. Gee. Gee, ain't that, ain't that a coinky dink Hmm. I've spent my life since then believing I was in your debt for the way you stood aside and let me handle the trial. 
But I see now. He was just basically amused by your trauma. He was just like, yeah. Yeah, I want you to suffer in this courtroom. Yeah. <laughs> That's how he was feeling. It's like, I'm the powerful bitch in this relationship. Yeah. I was very much mistaken. There's a hugely influential force that caused the inspector and the coroner to break the law 10 years ago. <laughs> Listen, that man's ego is as big as the clock he lives in. Like, dead ass. You've seen it. You have seen it. And that same force was still felt... Uh, was still felt a decade later, on the other side of the world, by Sushishiro Jigoku. He's about to get his British wig snatched, yup. Lord Strongheart. Everything falls into place when we recognize that you are the Reaper of the Bailey. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, you silent, though. Come on, speak your mind. You ain't got nothing to combat this. Oh, there it goes. I, I knew he was going to throw the leg up. I just didn't know how soon. I just didn't know how soon. You can't clip on mobile like normal. <laughs> it's all good, Joker. It's all good. Because I, I will still see the clip even if you, you press the button. Yeah, he don't put his whole gripper on the table. He says, I offer you one foot and a leg. Now numb on it. Kiss it. Breathe on it. Praise it. Sniff it even. I'm not sniffing another foot. Y'all not gonna get me doing this again. <laughs> I don't know what y'all did last time, but y'all not gonna get me doing this again. <laughs> y'all love when they throw that leg up? Mm -hmm. This was what I was talking about, Dwayne. He liked throwing that leg up. Just putting that out there. Van Zeeks is a very flexible man. I mean, he told you only villains live in clock towers with villainous organ fights. You know, you're not wrong, Zay-Z. Because I'm pretty sure you've seen the great, a oh, not the great ace attorney, uh, the, 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 the case five of like the trilogy in the first ace attorney game. What did he have in his office? A whole pipe organ. And it's just like, damn, <laughs> you just gave away that you're evil. Thanks. Thanks. No, no, no innocent person would have a pipe organ in their home. <laughs> they would not have a pipe organ in their home. It's just nothing but evil spewing from, from that thing. <laughs> you, you hear the music that's playing right now? It's being played by a pipe organ, right? Right there, right there. That's that's how you know how how critical this is. This may be very well go down in British judicial history, but I assure you, it is no joke. <laughs> Not I would, Dwayne, please. Consider this a formal accusal by the defense. It doesn't warrant a response. Van Zee's got your mojo and your wine back. Oh, a formal accusal. Don't be absurd. The defense's claims are utter nonsense. A wild fantasy at best. No, it's not. You're not going to defend yourself? Exactly, he too scared. He too scared. You claim there was some wrongdoing with Lord Clint Van Zee's autopsy? That's utterly untrue. But I heard it from Gregson's own lips. He admitted to it. And where's your evidence? I don't know. He dead now, so we ain't got no evidence. Not verbally anyway, because I doubt they had, like, you know, recorders that could, could do that. They, they might have. I, I don't know. I'm terrible at, like, you know, history of this land and what kind of devices they may have had to, to be able to capture these things. <laughs> what? Gregson is dead now. Unless you were thinking of summoning a go- Wow! You know, come back in like roughly about... Mmm... A hundred... Two hundred-ish years? And we got you. We'll call me a fae. We'll, we'll, we'll get Mia, Maya, or you know, that whole family line to, to summon, you know, a ghost. So, it's, it's funny you say that. Also, if you didn't notice, there's a lot of odes to like the first trilogy in this game and probably other various Ace Attorney games, which I love. <laughs> when the prosecutor's on your side is over, exactly. 
They said you don't get the face sisters in this era. What you gonna do exactly, Zazy? You you mean to say? I forget how the system works in your little backwater country. Wow. <laughs> The level of insults this this place, like the characters from England, <laughs> say about the Japanese, but like this is wild to me. It's still just wild to me. Like I know it's supposed to be historically accurate, but it's like the amount of racism in this game just astounds me. And it's just like this this reminder, reminder. This game was just recently localized. It was just recently localized, like two years ago. So, it's just amazing that they put so much of it in here. And it's just like, y'all the folks who created this game, what do you mean? But in the courts of the British Empire, without evidence, there's no case. I have no intention of entertaining some wild fantasy that can't possibly substantiate, uh, be substantiated by anyone or anything. Now, there's no arg. Just take out his heels. Who gonna stop us? Order, order in the court. Following Inspector Gregson's murder and the light of Dr. Wilson's death as well. There's really no one left who could testify about the events of 10 years ago, is there? Oh, no, there is. There is. So that was the real purpose of the assassin exchange. To basically get rid of any underliers or any witnesses to what possibly happened 10 years ago. They said, no, nah, you were a little too close to the case. So we got to ax you off because you already know the truth of what happened. So you're dead. You're dead. Even if you swore not to say anything, you're dead. This court has no business raking over the coals of a case that was concluded a decade ago. The accusal brought by the prosecution and the defense is categorically denied. I take it there are no objections? Kazuma. He's more or less waited his whole life for this moment. Is there really nothing else we can do now? Is there no other avenue we can go down in pursuit of the truth about what happened all those years ago? If only there was someone who could testify about Clint Van Zeek's autopsy. Oh no, there is someone. There is someone. He's gone to extraordinary lengths to cover his tracks. Even so far as dispatching an assassin all the way to Japan to ensure Dr. Wilson's silence. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And Dr. Seif won't say anything against Strongheart. But there's still one ray of hope. Wait, does this man have a mouse on his shoulder? Yes, Zazie. So, <clears throat> uh, it wasn't the last stream that I did of this game, but the one prior to that. It's a communication device. Um, of sorts, but also a kind of like little cutesy flair that, uh, what's her name? Iris, I think, put together. Canon, like, canonly, I don't think they explain it at all, but it, that's, that's what, Sh Holmes has like a, Sholmes, excuse me, Sholmes has another one, which I think is like a rabbit that we have. Actually, we can show it. We can show it, because I think I have it. Yeah, here it is. So Iris told us to like, hey, pull this doll's ear for, you know, a very long time. <laughs> It'll get into communication with Mr. Sholmes. And so that's exactly what happened. He had a little, you know, gremlin on his shoulder pull his ear just to get in communication with him, respectively, which is funny. But no, this is also part of his costume. So like, he doesn't normally wear this. This is just one of the costumes that you can switch over to um, in this game. Only in the second half of uh, the uh, the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. You can't do it in the first game, first part portion of the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. I don't know what their reasoning for that was unless they patched it in later. But um, the second half, they have it to where you can swap his costume from his uh, Edo attire to a more kind of like steampunk England attire, which is why Sholmes... Where's the whole like pink gi and uh, kitsune mask and stuff like that? So, 
that's what I love about this game too. Is just like you can change the outfits of the characters, and so both him and I think Susato also has like a little pink mouse on her shoulder as well. When we go to her in this uh in this booth, one person who could still testify about that autopsy. Don't be ridiculous. There's no one left. Who, Ryanosuke? Who? Tell me. Kazuma, I... Please, this trial can't end. Not yet. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing it for the truth. The person the defense would like to call to the stand to testify about the autopsy of Lord Clint uh, Van Zeeks. Oh man, we can't check the court record either. I was gonna say, I feel like there was something in the court record that we could look at to determine who we could call, but I know it's this man. This is the only living person, technically, that had like close connections to the professor case. And there's, there's a reason why. <laughs> Even though we dated. Heaven help us. <laughs> Not this! Wait a minute, why? <laughs> this game does not hide the racism at all in this game. They do not hide it. They do not. They just say, yeah, we're going to blatantly put another statement that's racist as hell in here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't you just love the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles? It's, it's wonderful. <laughs> An expert in forensics uh, medicine, my lord. Professor Eugen Mikatoba, 16 years ago. You like how they captured the English racism? Honestly, to a T, Dio. Because the first, like literally the first case that you play in this game. Again, I apologize. Well, I mean, if you hear, you, you just basically getting spoiled at this point. But the very first game, we're introduced to a Sashin, even though that's not her name when we first meet her, but it's the girl with the goose or swan or whatever on her head. And she's just like, how do you have me listening and speaking the tongue of you Japanese people? And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Y'all ain't got no kind of chill with this English folk coming over to Japan saying this nonsense. You in their country and you have the audacity to insult them in their own courtroom. All right. Okay. <laughs> Send her back on a ship back to, to England because she can't stay here. She need to go. <laughs> and that's why her ass died there. It's just like, well, mm, you, you spoke, you talk too much shit. Where one Japanese fellow got a little bit too mad and killed your ass for it. That's what you get. He came to London with Sashiro Jigoku and Genshin Asoki as a visiting student. And what could his testimony possibly tell us? It's true to life. They colonized the whole beach towns in Spain. Oh no, I believe it. I believe it. I may not be up to date in terms of like the history of Japan and England's relationship, but what I've been, what little crumb that I know of their relation, I can believe they've they've said some very hurtful things or done some very hurtful things. Demanding beans in English to be spoken. Yeah, it does not surprise me. <laughs> it does not surprise me at all, which is, uh, it's just frustrating. It's just more so frustrating just to kind of like, it hurts, it hurts me even though I'm not Japanese, I'm a black person, but it's just like, it still hurts because it's just like, damn, I ain't even being attacked, but it's just like, can relate, can relate to the racism in this game. Mm -hmm. Professor Mikotoba was, oh, Professor Mikotoba was the primary assistant during the autopsy in question. He was also the person who actually penned the report. We have the gay sisters. Yeah, we don't get told our own island's history here either. Only England. Wow. So 
Sorry, I'm munching on chips. I want a crunch in y'all's ear. But I just wanted a little snacky snack. This man is fighting to the... He really just don't want to be accused of this. Even though he's guilty. You're so hyped for the Apollo Justice Collection. I am too shattered. I never got a chance to play the... Uh, the first game in the Apollo Justice Collection. The other two, like Dual Destinies and Spirit of Justice, I played all the way through, but the first one I skipped. Only just because, one, I don't think I had a DS at the time. I could be lying. But also, two, when I saw Phoenix wasn't the uh, pro tag um, of that game, it kind of put me off, and so I was like, I wanna play this game. <laughs> I wanna play this game. And then later on down the line, when I actually like watched you know, a playthrough on YouTube many years ago, I was like, oh, this game is good. I gotta play this. So I'm very glad that I get a chance to, to actually play the game when the collection comes out next year. What chips you got? I have late July's um, nacho cheese chips. And yeah, they nacho cheese chips. But they're delicious. They kind of taste like, uh, if you're familiar with like the baked Doritos that uh, Lay's used to pull uh, put out, they're like that. So they're very nice, because it's just like, man, I love me some baked cheesy Doritos. They're delicious, but I ain't seen them in years. They might have been discontinued, and so this is a nice uh, equivalent of that. It's cool, the snacking matches the VTuber eating the candy stick. <laughs> oh, bless, I'm glad, because I, I had to adjust it just a bit so it could like, you know, I can put the little TPTs out so that way it looks like I'm I'm uh I'm biting it. Okay. You just say they nacho cheese just because you don't want to share. Yes. Yes, I did. It was the primary assistant's duty to keep a written record of the coroner's work during the procedure. In actual fact, the coroner mer merely read over the report at the end and signed it. In other words, Professor Migatobo witnessed the entire autopsy from start to finish. Ha ha, checkmate. Defense demands that Professor Migatobo be summoned as a witness as a matter of urgency. Whatever really happened in an autopsy laboratory 10 years ago is something only he can tell us. You can't deny it. Nope, you can't deny it. You cannot deny it. Go ahead and pull him up here. Defense demand is denied. No, fuck you. Why are you denying it? Give us a reason why you say that. What? But Professor Mikotoba is in London at this very moment. We could summon him to the stand in minutes, exactly. No. Of course he's not going to agree to it. Strongheart has no intention of summoning who anyone who knows exactly. He's too concerned about protecting himself. Of course he is! Prosecutor Sogi, let me refresh your memory as you seem to have forgotten the prosecution's stance. Only minutes ago you accused the defendant of being the Reaper and of masterminding the assassin exchange. I know, right? He's just like, hold on, let me call my homies. Go ahead and axe off Mikatoba. Axe him off. Get rid of him. Immediately. He can't come to this courtroom. I gotta protect myself. I... I did? Yes? So, present your evidence for those claims and make your case complete. I... I... At this time... I don't have the requisite, uh, requ requisite evidence. But that's exactly why we need... Witness testimony. The professor case is closed. There are no clues in the distant past that will bolster your argument today. Ooh, Jamie, I'm so sick of this man. I'm sick of him. I'm sick of him. You got Apollo Justice for the DS. It was hard to hard to find. Ooh, nice, Shattered. Very nice. That you will appear to be possessed by the spirit of your late home. You did not just say this. You did. <laughs> what? So sick <laughs> oh my god! The amount of racism. 
awesome in this game is wild. It's wild and granted, I played this game offline. I sped ran this game offline. But it's like playing through this again, it's just like, god damn. The amount of racism is hurting my soul. Not you literally saying this in the courtroom. I'm so tired of you, Strongheart. Damn, see, even Kazuma felt that. <laughs> the flinch hit hard. Oh, so sorry, baby. <laughs> oh my god, damn. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God, that's so wild. This game needs to chill. It needs a chill button, like, immediately. Now, as I stated earlier, this court has already reached a conclusion with respect to the matter at hand. Inspector Gregson was murdered by Japanese Supreme Court Judge... Court Judge Jijo... Ah, good lord, I can't say his name. Seshiro Jigoku. The devs really said, y'all gonna see what we go through. They really did. They really did, Salem. I'm like, listen, I didn't need to feel this kind of whiplash. Please, no. <laughs> Been drinking bingo, big up car. Gonna be wild for them, right? <laughs> right, Dio? Like, listen, if I played this game from start to finish, I, I could not because this would be like an over 24 hour game. I'm pretty sure. Actually, I'm curious. What is. I'm actually curious what the hours is on this. I have it on my Notion, but it's just quicker to look it up here. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they guesstimate on how long to beat between 65 and a half hours to 79 hours. That's a long ass fucking time. I don't think I could stay awake doing that from start to finish. <laughs> but you see why it took me two fucking years to get through this goddamn game because it's just that long, but it's so good. It's so good and it's worth it. It's your first or second game in the uh, great uh, Ace Attorney series. So this is, let's see. Because I played the first, second, third in the trilogy. And then I skipped Apollo Justice. I played Dual Destinies, Spirit of Justice. So this is my sixth game, if I'm doing the math in my head right. And so this is my second playthrough of this game. Because I played this game offline before I brought it to stream. But because I played it all the way offline and I was like, oh my god, this is such a great game. I got to bring it to stream. Um... I was just like, yeah, well, we'll play through it again because I love it. I love the story. But yeah, this is probably like my top favorite. Um, ignoring like the nostalgia factors that the trilogy gives me because that was my very first Ace Attorney uh, set of games. It's like I played one through five. And then when I saw that the other two had came out, um, I played those. And it was just like mm, chef kiss of like the first game in the third game in the first trilogy because like i'm sorry gant was a badass villain <laughs> i'm sorry i'm spoiling shit i'm sorry let me shut up <laughs> let me shut up i shouldn't spoil but yeah no the 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 villain in that one and the storytelling in that one was really good and then i ain't gonna spoil the third one because that one oh that was the icing on the cake it was so good it was so fucking good and the second one was okay it was a nice little twisty twisty too but uh it wasn't, it wasn't anywhere near as good as like the first and third in the trilogy. Wanna see? I saw Lime. I saw the new, I saw the notifications. I have not seen what they look like because I'm trying to speed run the game, but I will definitely check after stream. 
Oh lord. I don't like how you smiling. It's like you got something up your sleeve, Lime. What you being sneaky over here for? But we all know what will happen. That'll just give the mastermind of the whole venture time to cover his tracks again. See, you make these these faces, Lime. And I feel like if I looked at them on stream, I'm going to react. Because I know what happens <laughs> when, when certain people send me certain things. And I see it's an image in my notification DMs. And I'm like, hmm. I'm going to open this after stream because I know what happens when I open it during stream. I scream and people be like, wait, is, is, is everything okay? Yeah. I can't say what I just saw, but just know I saw something and it was a, mm, it was interesting. It was interesting. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Salem. <laughs> You're a bit confused on what's going on in uh, in the game. Oh, in this game? Okay. I can't give you a full, full recap, but uh, in hindsight, Shattered, from start to finish, Ryunosuke and Kazuma Actually, let's pull up the characters so y'all can know what they at least look like. So, Ryunosuke is the person we're playing as. I don't think he has a profile picture, sadly, in this. But you've seen him enough. But Ryunosuke, Kazuma, he did not look like this in the very beginning. Um, first case, they defended somebody uh, who died in, in that case. Second case, they went on a ship going to Britain. Kazuma got knocked out, considered quote-unquote dead. Which is why I said, if you play up to this point, yeah, you're, you're getting spoiled because the man is alive here. But, uh, yeah, that's where uh, Kazuma dies on the ship, quote-unquote. And you first encounter Herlock Sholmes, which is all, obviously a play on Sherlock Holmes. And so, we solve the case with him. Third case, we're in England trying to get another case. Um, well, we'll say third, fourth, and fifth case all relate to each other in terms of hinting at what's going on in this particular case at this moment which is there's been a list of names people have been killing one another we don't know who the true reaper of the bailey is until we find out oh this exact moment who's been you know often folks who've been basically prosecuted as guilty in english court of law as well as like some other things and it's mostly people tied to the professor case, which the professor case involves basically the death of this, this man's father and Van Zeke's brother. So two people died, two people died, but we don't know who is truly at fault until we get to the bottom of this case. And there's bits and pieces of this overarching case that we're in right now sprinkled in all the other previous cases so that's kind of it in a sort of quick ass summary because if i try to go over every little detail of the great ace attorney chronicles we'll be here all for quite some time but i will say they do take some inspiration from the actual sherlock holmes books if you're familiar with like you know some of the uh, titles I can't say which ones because there's one that comes to mind but it will spoil this entire game if I say it at, out loud but uh yeah it, it takes some 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 heavy inspos from here which is why you probably see some familiar or similar like names amongst several characters in this game so is the judge the killer or that's what we're leading on to that this guy's the killer he wasn't the judge in all the other cases, but he is the uh, the chief justice, <laughs> which is again kind of a uh, an ode to uh, the initial the trilogy of the Ace Attorney series, like the very first trilogy. If you uh, played those games, and who the quote unquote villain was in those games, so and we'll get into some more bits about that. But I'm gonna play this so that way. I don't spoil too much because <laughs> yeah it's this is what i love about this game because it's just like we're gonna you know basically tie the two together just very very secretly if you played the first one then you know what's probably about to happen in this one it gets very juicy and meaty in the fifth case mm -hmm. Your punishment for the contem uh, contemptible behavior will be decided at a later date. As for you, Prosecutor Sogi, 
you will be reprimanded following these proceedings. Willingly, I trust, since you gave your word. God, I know after he insulted you several times. Literal blatant racism. This futile game of revenge is over, young master Sogi. No, don't be defeated, baby. We got you. We got you. It's all right. We gonna crack this case open. You gonna get justice for your father. I promise you. I promise. We not gonna let you go out this way. And best believe the uh, the uh, descendants of Rianosuke not gonna let this happen to his friends either. I mean, rip me up, but still, he not gonna let this happen to, <laughs> to the other folks who be alive and kicking. Hey, it's it's Holmesy! Hello, Sholmes! How you doing? Mr. Sholmes! This is no place for amateur detection, Mr. Sholmes. May I remind you that these proceedings are closed to the general public. Who cares? He here! You will leave this courtroom at once. Absolutely not. Bring him up! Mr. Sholmes was instru instrumental in the apprehension of Seshiro Jigoku before he fled from Europe. The court should hear what he has to say. That's right, let him cook. Thank you, Shatter. Thank you. Thank you for perceiving Sholmes as this. Listen, the next time we focus on him, look at his clavicles. Look at his clavicles, because you don't see his clavicles in his regular fit. This is what that man wears regularly, but because I swapped him out to his Japanese costume. Yeah, you get to see his, his clavicles. Look at that. Look at them clavicles. <laughs> Look at them, they just shine, They're, they just fine and shimmering, glistening in the moonlight and in the sunlight, mm-hmm. Look at them clavicles. Delicious. You don't know what's going on, but this is getting good, right? Lord Mel Strongheart, it's imperative that you refrain from bringing this trial to the end, to an end at this stage. Oh my god, Sukhoi, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Fucking Sukhoi, not you kidding me in 4K! What are you doing here? <laughs> Not kill two. Oh my god. I'm just. I'm just. Can I leave? Can I please leave my own stream? Please and thanks. I would like to leave. <laughs> Exposed by two folds. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, but hi. Hi, Sugoi. Hi, Kim. H how y'all doing? How's your Saturday? How's, how, how's, how's the weekend been treating y'all? Hmm? Hmm? It's great. It's great, huh? It's great. Yeah, it's been great. Excellent. Love that. Absolutely love that. <laughs> It's your birthday. Happy birthday, Kim! Hey, everyone say happy birthday to Kimberly and don't pay attention to me lusting over someone's clavicles. Yes. Happy birthday, Kim! Happy birthday! Oh my god, it's Kimberly's birthday! Yo! Happy birthday! <laughs> I'm so glad you're here! It's your birthday! It's amazing! Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday goes back to playing this game. <laughs> but no, seriously, I hope you had a wonderful birthday so far, Kimberly. What did, what did you do on your 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 day for yourself? Hmm? Tell it tell 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 the class. Tell everyone what you did. And you know, take the heat off me. Is it really? And why would that be? You need only recall your own words from the opening of the trial to answer that question, if I may. I'm sorry, I gotta get my Sholmes voice back. We will stop at nothing to uncover the tr whole truth behind these disturbing findings. Surely, it can't be. That the shock of being accused of the Reaper yourself has erased that from your memory, can it? The whole truth, sir, has already been uncovered. You sit down, murderer. <laughs> Currently drinking your free star- Ooh, yum. You gotta- as you should, Kim. As you should, because I be looking for them deals as well. One of the things that I get 
at least at least near me now. I'm, I'm gonna have to remember that come uh, next year. It's a free pasta dinner at an Italian restaurant, and I'm like, yes. But you gotta come on your birthday. You have to come on the exact date of your birthday. You can literally dine in there for free. It's wonderful. And they do really good, uh, really good pasta dishes. Mm. Yum yum yum. But I'm glad that you were able to treat yourself. It would seem that we have a great many important members of the just judiciary present here today. I put it to you, my dear fellows. Should the trial end at this juncture? No. After all, why have you been invited to attend? To nod along to the prevarications of your superiors? I know, right, Shatter? They great. We love Sholmes and Agi. We love him. We love his clavicles and Agi. Mm hmm. Order, order in the court. It seems to me that we stand before a door that leads to a new era of legal practices. A door that is ajar. Let us emerge from the shadows of the Reapers' decade-long ascendancy. For you, and you alone, my dear fellows, have the power to push this door open now. The auditors in the gallery have no right to express an opinion on court proceedings. Silence! He's right! The judge has absolutely authority here. Yes, if he calls the trial to an end, it must end. But will that really do it? I sense dark things occurring behind the scenes. Dark things indeed. Is there a single person present here who can honestly- I didn't read the last of it, I'm sorry. What? What's- The trial should go on! Summon the witness! That's right. We need to clear this up before that young Japanese fellow- Oh. Y'all still over here calling them Japanese and shit. Y'all need to sit your racist ass down. My lord, you assured these present. Those present. Oh, oh, it still can't be. Vindic- Yep, mm-hmm. <laughs> the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. That's the very foundation of British law. Don't, don't crush it no more. You've wasted enough. Please, just toast it. Just toast it. Don't crush the chalice, Vanzeeks, please. You stained enough- of, your, of the floor, of the courtroom floor with you crushing and bashing wine bottles all over this room. A toast to my dependable colleagues in the gallery. On with the trial, on with the trial! Testify, testify, testify! Well, my lord, you hear the voice of British justice, I take it. I think you'll find it will be rather awkward to silence. Mm hmm Yes. Mm hmm Mm hmm The court will recess briefly. So you can kill a man? No. No. Do not, do not give him a recess. That man will either run away or kill another man. I have no intention of shrinking from these allegations. Mm hmm You say this. But at the same time, I'm not, I'm not willing to give you a break. Bailiff, arrange for a subpoena of the witness at once. As soon as the gentleman arrives at the courthouse, we shall reconvene. A recess won't be necessarily, my lord. Thank you, Sholmes. Thank you. He already know. He already know what's up. He trying to buy some time. Pardon? Mikatoba is a close friend of mine. He accompanied me accompanied me today and is waiting in the antechamber as we speak. I do believe he's been enjoying a little trip down memory lane, in fact. What? Professor Mikatoba is here in this courthouse? Yeah, they were quick with it. Mr. Sholmes, you... You didn't know this would happen, did you? Oh no, he predicted it. He's smart. I told you, this man be acting dumb as hell. A lot of the times, but he's smart as hell, too. My dear fellow, no one is in a better position to answer that question than you, surely. <laughs> he just likes to see you sweat, Ryanosuke. That's that's Mr. Sholmes for you. You know this. You already know this. Well, I must thank you for your assistance in this matter, Mr. Sholmes. Do you, though? Are you being honest with yourself? Because I feel like you aren't. However... You are of no further use here. Kindly leave the courtroom at once. But of course, in truth, I find myself rather busy now as a result of these developments. 
Mr. Naruhodo. Ah, yes! I trust you have Iris's little lucky charm with you? Absolutely. It's still in my pocket. She sends her regards as and a reminder. If you find yourself at a dead end, the ears are at your disposal. Just one tug, if you please. Yes, and we'll pull your ears. Oh, um, of course! In that case, the trial will continue without delay. Bailiff, show the witness to the stand. Oh, I like how they're standing next to each other. They complement each other pretty well. So it's Lord Strongheart. He's the Reaper of the Bailey. Where exactly is the trial going to take me, I wonder? Just how deep am I about to plunge into the blackness of the abyss? Oh, you're gonna go far. Far and deep. It's gonna be wet and dark inside. You're not gonna be ready. I'm gonna be ready because I know what's, you know, to come of the end of this, but still. Get ready, Ryanosuke. We plunging you into the depths. Mm-hmm. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy that, 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 that contraction. Between your thighs. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, I'm ready. I'm ready to hit head into the heart of this maelstrom and confront whatever horrors it tries to drown me under. Huh? What? 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 Oh, I meant con contradiction. Con contradiction. Contradiction. Mm -hmm. That's what I meant. Yeah, he ready to hit too. Mm-hmm. Save your current progress? Absolutely. Nothing, Dio! <laughs> You know, this 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 last of it. This is the last of it. I promise. This is the last of it. Y'all not gonna be ready. Oh hi Riku! Welcome in! Oh god, it's this girl. I'm mad he's staring on he's standing on the very far edge of the witness stand. Why is he away from everybody else? I guess he really just don't like that girl who's just like staring at Mikatoba. Which I don't blame him. What? You know, it don't help that Salem captured this and the URL says flaccid vein elephant babby, baby. I don't, mm, I really hate that URL. I really hate that URL. I blink. <laughs> Twitch knows, like, listen, please, I don't need this. I don't need this at all. Why would they pick those words to form that URL about what I was talking about? Like, what the hell? What is this? <laughs> Twitch said you gonna be knowing your sins. Stop, stop. Blake, listen, hi, hello. Happy holidays! Welcome in! How's your Saturday <laughs> treating you? <laughs> I hope you're doing well! Don't pay attention to what's going on in chat right now. They tripping. They tripping. The snacks are on something. Don't mind them. Don't mind them. They just lying. That's it. So witness, please state your name and occupation for the court. Yujin Mikatoba, lecturer in forensic medicine at the Imperial Yumei University in Tokyo, Japan. And Gori gonna be creepy about it. Yeah, she she doing the thing. And Professor Mikatoba, the young lady beside you is. Ah, this is Dr. Maria Gori, Scotland Yard's practicing coroner, the daughter of Dr. Scythe, I understand. Yes, Dr. Scythe. I'm afraid I can't tell you why she's here. She just appeared. And and you just allow this for her to just be next to you staring like this. This ain't creepy at all. This is not creepy at all. It's perfectly normal to just have a random person next to you staring in your inner ear. Mm-hmm. I have that happen to me all the time. I have someone standing right next to me right now, literally in this room, just looking at me. Just looking at me. It's completely normal. <laughs> that doesn't happen to y'all. 
No, it, it apparently doesn't, Sheppy. It apparently doesn't. This is a normal occurrence for everyone. You've been listening for the last hour? What you mean? Chat is telling the truth. I, I don't see any truths told here, Blake. It's all been lies. Can I help you? Why are you staring at me like that? Uh, this is Gory. She's been trying to dissect us in previous uh, cases. Because she was just like, Mom, can I take them apart and see their organs? I'm like, no. We're not dead. And she's like, well, we could we, we could change that. I just, I just want to play with your organs. I'm like, no. No, baby. That's not how that works. That's not how that works. Please, no. You summon this strange Japanese man as a witness to that autopsy. But you don't summon Mama. That makes no sense. She was there, too. That's about the size of it. I've had her eyes boring into the side of my cheek constantly. And you're fine with this? Whilst I was in the antechamber, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> she's really, she's literally waiting for you to pass on so that way she can cut you open. Like, I, I, I really do feel like if someone died next to her on a bench, she'd be like, oh, now's my chance. I can finally take out my knives and carve you open. Like a Christmas or Thanksgiving turkey. Mm-hmm. Let me see them goods. <laughs> it's like, excuse me? <laughs> Why you got this? Got your instruments on you, ma'am. Please, no. This is this is not a Popeye's. This ain't even a Wendy's. It's not even a Denny's. I don't know where it is. It's none of those places. Poor man. The ideal of it's making me shudder. Revelations about Dr. Sai that came to light uh, some days ago defiled the reputation of the entire ju judiciary. Yeah, she's the only one that can kind of like speak on the truth of matters because her her mama got locked up for lying. For lying and basically killing an innocent man. She was therefore deemed unfit to appear as a witness in today's proceedings. The ministry, ministry of Justice's decision on that is final. Well, we wouldn't want any more perjury to be committed, would we? Oh no, there she go again. <laughs> the Ministry of Justice, some questionable strings are being pulled, I think. Uh, just, just a tiny, but you know, it's for, it's for good reason. You surprised she hasn't been a suspect? No, nah, she, she innocent in this game, Sheffy. Can't go anywhere in the UK without it happening. Oh no. <laughs> oh. I remember you, Dr. Mikatoba. But I certainly never expected to be meeting you under these circumstances. <laughs> yeah, same could be said for you, sir. Yes, it's been a long while, Lord Strongheart. Prosecution understands that you were a visiting student for forensic of uh, forensic science in London until ten years ago. That's right. I studied under Dr. Wilson at St. Sinus. She's she's back to staring at him again, only under a mask. So you were present at the autopsy of my brother, Lord Clint Van Zeeks. I was, yes. I assisted Dr. Wilson with the entire procedure. <laughs> Mama is far more skilled than any ju- Why? Not, not you being racist too. Not you being racist too. Gory, I, listen. I already knew you were weird, but still. <laughs> Why are you racist as well? Why? Ain't nobody sacred on this, on this, on this place. Except for Sholmes. Sholmes is the only one who hasn't... Sholmes and Iris are the only two who haven't said anything offensive to, you know, the Japanese here. It's just wild. It's just wild. Everybody else is just like, no, nah, they, they got something racist to say. White people racist say <laughs> Well, Dr. Wilson asked me to be his primary assistant on that occasion. And this autopsy report was actually pinned by you, I believe. Yes, 
I noted all the doctor's findings when we were done. He read through the document and signed it. Poor Mama. A secondary assistant. She wouldn't have had such a good view of all the innards. Wow. <laughs> so, Professor, do you remember Inspector Gregson? Yes, of course. If it wasn't for his insistent, Lord Van Zeek's autopsy would never have happened. But he was absolutely convinced that it would reveal decisive evidence against Genshin, you see. So Lord Strongheart had to entreat the nobility to allow it to take place. Do correct me if I'm wrong, my lord. It was as a result of that autopsy that a mass murderer was apprehended and justice was done. You won't- Of course not, Riku! Listen, I ain't, I ain't like these war criminals out here just cutting up folks. Absolutely not. Nah, I roast folks. I can't guarantee your safety when you be charcoal burned. At all. Now you think I'm a dragon? <laughs> The Gregson admitted it before he was killed. He admitted that the results of the autopsy were fabricated. <clears throat> Who the heck is Mama? Dr. Scythe. That, that is her mom. We haven't seen her in this case, but she was in the previous cases. <clears throat> you were there at the time, so you must testify. You have an obligation to tell the truth about what really went on. Absolutely. That's precisely why I'm here. You the first to go, Blake. I'm got I got your number. I got your number. And that's why I'm here too. Is it? Very well then. You will give your formal testimony now, witness. Before you begin, a word of warning. Oh? You will state truthfully and accurately what you saw and what you heard at the time. I wouldn't dream of doing otherwise, my lord. Moment your testimony verge, verges on su su supposition. I will expel you from my courtroom. Remember that. He ain't gonna tell no lies. <laughs> oh, okay. The autopsy of Clint Van Zeeks. Oh, you know what? We should probably save. My bad. Wait, we save right before this case. Never mind. We're good. <clears throat> From my own observations, I couldn't say there was any indication of the autopsy report, uh, results having been fabricated. Death resulted from a wound made by a western-style sword transfixing the heart that I found a little strange. There were no other signs of internal injury. Nothing questionable at all. It was just that beautiful but dangerous piece of evidence removed from the man's stomach. Presumed to have been swallowed by the victim as a way of post... Man, I cannot say this word. Identifying his assailant. He's already the first anyways because you led the anti... I did not! I don't know who gave you th these news. Who gave you this news, Blake? No indication. Nothing to suggest fabrication? Professor Migatoba, are you certain about that? Well, nothing that I could possibly identify as such, much less swear in, uh, to in testimony. Oh, I'm a shut up. I remembered something. Ah. <laughs> You just really want Kazuma to suffer. That's why you're laughing. That's why you're laughing. You've been mocking him of his dead father for the longest time. Also, there's another three minute ad. Let me know what you see in the ad void. And also, we're gonna take a quick little break so that way I can eat some chips and uh, swallow me some water. Lubricate my throat, if you will. Cause we got a lot of reading up ahead. So be right back. And we're back just got back from the barber we're going to a holiday party and I, I hope you and your you and the wife have a fun time at the party but also understandable 
brass because I just got my hair done yesterday because it had been a I mean it was already like I was due for a wash day like it landed on no perfect day then uh yesterday for me to do wash day because if I wasn't able to attend because that was the other thing so like my stylist had texted me like last minute before I rode up there it's just like hey can you come in early uh today because I just found out that my uh my uh parental figure is eloping and I'm like what <laughs> what your parental figure just kind of like popped up while the blue just said like yeah we're we're eloping and we're getting married today like hello <laughs> You can't just bust out with that kind of news, but yeah, they, uh, I found out, uh, they found out the day, like, the night before, and they could have easily texted me saying, like, hey, can you come in earlier, so that way I would have been prepared, because, like, I'm glad they texted when they did, because I'm, like, roughly about an hour away, and if they texted any sooner, or any, uh, uh, like, later than the time that I received it, I would have been like hella late because I would have had to been like, oh shit, I gotta get dressed and all this other stuff. And I'm like, please don't do this to me because I'll be panic driving all the way up there just so you can make things. But at the same time, I would have been just like, no, they, they just gonna see me when, when they see me. And also Ogun, the Orisha, welcome in. Glad to have you. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Yeah, Vegas wedding, let's go. <laughs> But yeah, um, but yeah, they decided to kind of like hold a last minute wedding because an opportunity sort of presented itself um, in regards to like couples and stuff like that. And so they were just like, you know, what better time to get married than tomorrow just so that we can uh, we can do the thing. Not not the thing, you nasties, not that thing. I'm talking about lovey dovey things, not that kind of thing. I know what runs through y'all's minds, you filthy heathens. <laughs> it's not demon hours yet. We're getting married tomorrow so that <laughs> we can do the thing under the eyes of the Lord. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. But at the same time, I'm just like, that's not what I'm referring to. <laughs> I, I'm just not trying to put their business out there like that. Is the thing not... <laughs> it's, it's, it's a different kind of lovey-dovey. That's, that's the... Uh, that's the tilapia tango. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. I'm going to ruin Salmon Run for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> because I use that term to reference that Splatoon mode. <laughs> no, come back. Come back, Blake. You can't leave me. Someone else, you thought you meant me and you, oh, never mind. Don't care about others. <laughs> oh, but yeah, those just joining. Yeah, this stream can get chaotic. I can say some wild things. It is 18 plus, but also at the same time, I encourage people, though, it is 18 plus to read and regard the rules and respect my boundaries because there are still boundaries set, especially for new folks versus veterans who've been here for a while and grasp my level of humors and where to stop the flounder pound. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> oh. oh, that's a timely quote for. Oh, God. I don't even know what that was in reference to, Salem. You're actually not new. Well, hello, not new person. Oh, you mean you don't get to be parasocial and obsessive? That's too bad, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I, 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 I hate to disappoint you. I, I, hate to, I hate to disappoint you if you came here because you're just like, oh, look at this cute dragon face. Oh my God, hold up, let, let, me, let me get up close. Let, <laughs> Am I making you nervous? Am I making you nervous? Cause I'm cute and adorable and sexy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not. Here you go. I got a nip, nibble on my candy. On my candy cane. Mm -hmm. Give you sweet nibbles. Okay, I'm being weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it has 
you can see, my chat is also berating me with, with tons of plushies. All the time, all the time. It's just nothing but abuse here. Even when I'm, I'm doing something wholesome, it's just nothing but abuse. But welcome in. The cod, oh no, not the cod rod. <laughs> not the cod rod. Oh, thank you, Dwayne. What better way of introducing people to the chaos that goes here other than... See, even Mel Strongheart found this extremely funny. He found this extremely love funny. He can't keep contain himself from laughing at Seth on the beach. Mm hmm. <laughs> no, that's what. Oh no, not not this evil laughter. Why is he? Why is he being like a whole ass trope villain? Like why? Why is he being can canonly a whole ass trope villain? Help me understand. Why is he laughing with the hand up? <laughs> Please, sir, put your hand down. <laughs> this ain't this kind of courtroom. Don't do this. Don't reveal your cards so soon. Well, that clears things up nicely. Isn't this just like every ace of ace attorney villain? It is. It is, but we haven't really fully said he was the true villain, but he's showing his cards super ass early. But go on. The fabrication here, Asogi, has come from you. What? You claimed inspe the inspector confessed just before his death, but that, that is the fabrication. No, he freely acknowledged it. I swear he did. Freely? With the tip of a sword at his throat? The man was clearly at his wit's end. Not you putting blame on this man just because. The court will give no credence to this confession that was uttered in obvious desperation. Quite simply, there was nothing questionable about the investigation of Lord Clint Van Zeek's death. And with this testimony, we have, without question, uncovered the whole truth of the matter. You love the model though? Like this is probably the best POC woman you've seen done in such a long time you know what who, who, who's 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 the, who's even who's even who's even better because we feed our artists around here we feed our artists you want you want to know who my mom is there's 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 mama there's mama there's you you should you should go follow mama <laughs> you should go follow my mom my vtuber mom who did mine and sheppy's and segoy who was here earlier i don't know if he's still lingering model mm-hmm yes yes Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, that is my mom. That is my mom, that is canonly my mom. Yes, go follow Brie. <laughs> go follow Brie, yes. She did mine and the Sheppy right there, right there, right there in chat, the Sheppy model. So we VTuber siblings, hello, yeah. Yes, yes, yes she is. Yes, she did Sheppies, she did Kin Kishin Shinobis. Segoy is de debuting literally in three more days, on the 12th, if I'm not mistaken, unless he changed the date. Um, oh, did Tria's? I almost forgot Tria. Oh my god. <laughs> Tria would have came in here and cussed me out. Tria Cosmic Gardens. And then, am I forgetting someone else? And then also, like, did, like, the rigging um, for, like, other, other VTubers as well, such as uh, Bunny. Bunny. Bunny, Bunny, our Chad Bunny. Mm -hmm. Yes, 
Yes, bunny corn. So, they've done a lot of work for the community, so I appreciate them. You would have gotten cussed out her oh, I know. I know. Oh my god. Tria would have been like, how dare you? I'm sorry, Tria. Wait a second. You just realize if you make your own VTuber model, does that make you canly your own parent? Yes, because guess what? I'm technically the, uh, would I be the, f I think I'm a father of this model because, hold up. Give me a second. Give me, give me, give me a second. I gotta, I gotta. I gotta... Yes! Oh shit, I gotta add my accessories back because they didn't stay! No! God damn it. Oh well. It's okay. I can add them back. But yeah, I rigged this model. Ansta did the, it did the artwork, so if you're curious about like what my version 1 uh, is, Ansta Monsta did the artwork for that one. But I did the rigging of this model. So, yes. Yes. This is my first time rigging. My very first time rigging, literally. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now let me actually switch back and y'all are gonna see me <laughs> literally put my shit back on. But also... <gasps> Yay! It came back! Yay! Never mind. <laughs> I'm happy now. I'm happy. I was gonna be very sad if I had to put all my stuff back on. Yay! Ah. You remembered the stuff? It did! It did! Your version 2.0 is gonna be sick. Listen, do what you can, because I already... <laughs> Y'all not ready for the concept design of version 3. This is the version 2 model. Y'all not ready for the concept of version 3. That's all I got to say. Because one fit... But the full design is already, you know, solidified. I will have. I will oh have my all. God, Blake! Please give you a piece, nah, nah. I gave y'all the option to unlock it during my donothon, so no one can know the things. <laughs> the only people who have probably seen it are folks who I have gently handed the uh, the reference sheet that either myself or somebody else has put together because yes i did draw my own reference sheet for uh for the uh the bunny fit it's not the one that uh that simi had drawn out if you're thinking that that was just because simi had heard that and it was just like oh now i gotta draw fan art of it i'm like <laughs> i want to see what your concept design is of a bunny fit for me but no it's a completely different design that's all i can say you don't have a Discord, do you? I do have a Discord. I do, but it is not open up to the public to some degree. So if you do exclamation mark Discord, it'll give you the information as to how to join the Discord, but you can do it monetarily, which by obviously supporting me either on Twitch or through Ko-Fi, um, or coffee, excuse me. Or basically the, uh, <laughs> you have to build a bond, bonding relationship with me by asking me or my, my mods, and if you're relatively new here, meaning like, even if you've been here for a while, but we haven't actually like talked, so I can kind of vet you. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a respectable no until I actually get to know you. And then the other option is just to basically bide your time here and spend channel point redemptions. Like use it on, use it on channel points, so. And that's only just because, you know, being a uh, BIPOC individual, and also part of a marginalized group, people don't really know how to treat folks in those groups um, on the internet, you know, in the kindest of manners. So for my protection and also for my community's protection, um, yeah, there's no direct link to my Discord because I don't need hooligans and trolls showing up there. I'm gonna basically sit you through, make you go through pain. A lot of pain, a lot of vetting, because no. <laughs> mm-hmm. People be wild. People be very wild. May you join the Discord? I don't know you, Blake. This is your first time here. <laughs> I'm sorry, Riku. Listen, I haven't even shown my closest friends. If it makes you feel better, 
even my closest friends haven't seen like the full detail of like the plans that I have of no I take that back there's one <laughs> but even my closest friends have not seen the full details of uh, what my 3-0 looks like the rest of them are just gonna be like left in the dark damn what you cooking up the secret listen listen I gotta I gotta be I gotta be a little secretive I gotta be a little secretive I gotta, I gotta be a little secretive, really a lot secretive. So the most you're gonna get is silhouettes, but you can see one on my social hub. So that's all you're getting of at least one of the fits. But I've also uh, <laughs> done some things with it. That's all I'm going to say. But uh, the other thing is just like, yeah, yeah, you're just gonna have to wait till I'm ready to, you know, get another VTuber model going, so. You're just gonna have to sit tight. Yep, I'm cooking. I'm cooking, and you're not getting hints of it until, you know, the debut days. But, like I said, the 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 chosen artists, the chosen ones, who I want to get, you know, commissioned. Of the good girl, will know the things, but they are sworn to secrecy, and they cannot tell a single soul. Otherwise, I'm coming in their home and stealing their chicken. So. That is all. Not Biggie Smalls. <laughs> Not this. But no, I'm have I'm having a good time drawing a concept art of my uh my next fit in possibly design stuff. <laughs> you still basically that as well, um, Orisha. Cause listen, y'all may think I'm new, I'm not. I've been on Twitch for like roughly about seven plus years by now. I've seen all the tricks of the trades of, you know, betrayal by friends on Twitch and also the thievery of friends or strangers on Twitch. Same on like social media. So it's just like, ah, Blaze won't see this coming. Now Blaze is probably sniffing what you're throwing. She's just not letting you know. Because she's witnessed the things, both in 4K IRL and also on Twitch. So, yeah. <laughs> I ain't telling nobody. <laughs> so, them secrets gonna stay right there in my mind. Because you can't trust nobody on these streets. Not to say that, you know, most of my friends are, you know, not welcome to that kind of stuff. The ones who are trusted, I, I show at least just, just a crumb of things. Just a crumb, that's all they getting. Because I love them. But at the same time, it's just like, I want y'all to be surprised too. I like surprises. I like surprises. Can't confirm you knew Blaze by the OG name Blaze Swagger 420, not this, Dio. But yeah, you're just gonna have to wait. Just know I'm cooking. That's it, that's all you get to know. Teach me your ways, dragon warrior. Yeah, exactly what, what evil, evil said. Patience is a virtue. So you're just gonna have to wait for the things to be revealed because ain't nobody seen the things. No, no alcohol is involved. Yes, yes. I'm glad that I got it right. Because <laughs> otherwise I would have been like, well, they're never gonna coming back. I fucked up their name. They hate me now. It's fine. You'd be amazed how people emphasize the O. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> so is chicken involved? There's no chicken involved. There is most certainly something questionable about it, and the whole truth does rather elude us. I feel. Oh, I gotta, I gotta play catch up. I'm, I'm actually a little bit behind. I beg your pardon. Well, you're obviously aware of the facts of the case. All four of the professor's previous victims died when an enormous beast was set up, uh, set upon them that ripped out their throats. Oh, good lord! Oh, such horrifying crimes. But curiously, the killer's last victim, Lord Clint Van Zeeks, suffered a different fate. Yes, you're right. He got slashed in the stomach. Or in the heart, I'm sorry, excuse me. I thought he slashed his stomach. He just never, he just haven't been coming through because 
you're living your best Miley Cyrus life. Ugh, listen, it be like that sometimes. It honestly be like that. What if, yes, Shattered? The way to Assassin's heart is through their- No! <laughs> no, not this, Stacy. Not this! Oh! <laughs> But you're not wrong, but at the same time, that sounds so terrible. <laughs> oh, that's enough. I believe I warned you about this witness. I promised to curtail your testimony as soon as it entered the realms of su supposition or speculation. But it's not wrong, though, necessarily. He's not, he's not te technically telling a lie, I don't believe. <laughs> Very well, my lord. In that case, the defense will pursue a conclusion to this during the cross-examination. What? I have the right to cross-examine every witness after testimony. You do. Speak your shit, Ryanosuke. I fully intend to exercise that right. Ryanosuke. I'm afraid that even the presiding judge has no authority to contravene the letter of the law. As I'm sure every member of the judiciary present in the gallery would agree. Hmm. That thing has to be a sword. The dude's staff? Oh my god. I mean, you're, you could be right, Shattered. You could. Very well. You may begin, counsel. However, the moment your argument strays from the established facts, I will not hesitate to bring the cross-examination to an end. Proceed with caution. Okay, you ain't got to try and scare us. Yes, my lord. I got this. I'm Ryanosuke Norohodo. I'm part of the Norohodo line. We don't be bullshitting much, a lot, maybe 80% of the time here. The autopsy of Clint Van Zeeks. First off, let's save. Let's save, just in case I fuck up. You think his hair was the murder weapon? Listen, he just yeeted his wig and it just cut up several people with his fibers. Imagine, what if someone literally like killed a man by throwing their wig on them? And like the fibers were just so, so sharp, it actually sliced through them. Like, imagine that. That would be so terrifying if someone just threw a wig on you and you just ended up cut up to high hell. <laughs> it's terrible. It's a terrible thing <laughs> to think of. Not <laughs> that's your kind of wig. Death by raggedy wig. You just described it the majority of Bayonetta. You're not wrong, Zazie. You're actually not wrong. <laughs> Listen, just play Bayonetta. Literally, everyone who dies is to Bayonetta's hair because her whole fit and her hair is her hair. GG's. No, sadly not. But then you couldn't say there wasn't any indication either, could you? <laughs> no, true. I couldn't. I was at Dr. Wilson's side as he performed the procedure recording what he did. But at times, of course, he instructed me to fetch implements and such like. Can you imagine just out here ready to murder someone by affixing your hair as a weapon? <laughs> Listen, I hope they live their best life. I mean, don't come for me, but but live your best life just taking out folks with your wig or your actual natural fibers. Mm-hmm. Whilst I was away from the operation operating table, obviously, I could have missed something. And at those times, what was the secondary assistant doing? You still staring at him! Following this Japanese man's orders to adjust the lighting or pass him implements. But that doesn't mean Mama wasn't a vital part of the team. Quite, uh, yes. So, would you kindly refrain from staring at my cheek like that? She wants to bite it. Give it a nice little nibble. 
Professor Mikatoba, think. Was there nothing at all that seemed out of place to you? Well, yes, there was, as a matter of fact. Mm-hmm, go on. She really is. I think the intention was they wanted her to look like death as much as possible, which is why she's so fucking pale in this game. Because I think Dr. Sai was roughly about that pale too when she was on screen. I don't have a picture to compare, but you can look at my old VODs where you see uh, her actual mom on, uh, on screen. In all the previous uh, four killings attributed to the professor, the victims were killed by an enormous dog, dog, I believe. Their throats were, well, mauled. Well, if there was poison on the sword, could be that as well. She's just British, Sheffy, please. Not this. Not this, please. Correct, and yet Lord Van Ziegs was stabbed. Ah, do, do you mean to say you think Lord Clint Van Zeeks may not have, not in fact have been one of the professor's victims? There's no basis on which to doubt the findings of the investigations carried out at the time. But Genshin Asoki confessed to all of his crimes upon his arrest. He admitted to having taken the lives of all five members of the aristocracy. <sighs> Yet the beast that was used to carry out the killings was never identified. No evidence was found to suggest that Genshin had ever kept a dog. A true hound of hell. Yeah, it sucks. But, um, weren't ac you weren't actually press prison at the autopsy yourself, were you, Dr. Gory? Does that matter? Well, I just wondered how useful your testimony can be in that case, really. I mean, it would be different if your mother, Dr. Sai, were in the stand, but yeah, she she can't be here. I've already re I've read all the paperwork about your case, and Mama's told me the story counts countless times. The statement I just made is exactly what's written in the autopsy report. I did confirm that myself at the time. It's true, besides the stab wound, there were no other signs of internal trauma. I see. You got anything else to say? Mama told me all about it. Oh. She said that there was nothing of note internally. But they did find an amazing piece of evidence, something unbelievable. Unbelievable? What do you mean? Come on, Dr. Gory. What was it? You're getting a little too excited there, Kazuma. Calm down. What accent are you using? I refuse to try and do a British accent. The only one that's like somewhat British that I try to use is for Dr. Sh uh, Mr. Sholmes, not Dr. God, please don't don't let that man be a doctor. <laughs> Everyone else is just literally like my regular regular voice, regular accent, I guess. Was it human me? Oh no! Please no human meat. Please no human meat. Don't say that. <laughs> it's just that beautiful but dangerous piece of ev oh wait what what was it? What exactly was it, though? What does beautiful but dangerous mean? That, that, you, Tartaglia. Tartaglia. Beautiful yet dangerous. You know, this man. More criminal, but discount it. You better leave will, him alone. No! Savvy, please. 
I said no lies. And also, a fair warning. <laughs> fair warning to anyone who tries to slander Tartaglia. Deadass, Raz will put you in timeout. <laughs> you need to be stopped. I cannot be stopped. I cannot. <laughs> no, Sheppy. <laughs> Oh, not the crying. The sparkly around with the hole, as if it might slip over a finger, perhaps. Oh, do go on. And also, hi, bye, Savvy. There's a ring belonging to Genshin Asogi. Oh, boy. Nervously looks at Raz. Nah, you're fine, Brass, as long as you don't mention the forbidden name in reference to him. As well as other things. Nah, he's fine. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Evil? What are you talking about? Not man bit Genshin's finger. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done here. My, my father's ring was inside the victim's stomach. Yeah, that's that's a wild find. Not gonna lie. At the time, Genshin wore a large ring on the. I thought he said Dingus. Digitus, ditch, 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 digitus. Good lord, quartus of his left hand, the fourth for ring finger. I understood it was some sort of keepsake. When my father left Japan for London 16 years ago, I was eight years old. But I remember that ring. You do? My father's possessions were sent to our family home in Japan after his death, but the ring wasn't among them. Obvious, obviously not. It was a key piece of evidence. It remains under lock and key in the stores at Scotland Yard to this day. After the autopsy... Genshin was summoned by the police to check for the presence of his ring. It wasn't on his hand, of course. Moreover, there were deep abrasions on his finger where it had been pulled off. Ooh. Yikes. They arrested the man there and then, right before my eyes. How could they? How could they? Yes, how could they? And we all committed crimes against the Geneva Com convention every now and then <laughs> Zazy Zazy I'm mad that you referenced that <laughs> I'm mad that you referenced that because I recently uploaded a, a, that clip oh my god <laughs> That was revenge for the foxes. See, Sheffy remembers. <laughs> this person with the kitchen machete and weirdly long knife. Oh, oh, they're just the coroner, Dio. That's that's normal. That's normal. They're kind of creepy doll looking. Accurate. Very accurate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Salem. I've done nothing wrong with the foxes. I've, I've committed zero crimes in regards to foxes. I've committed none. None. What happened? Nothing. Nothing happened to foxes on this wholesome, innocent, fox-loving stream. I did nothing. I did nothing. Nothing was done. What do you mean? I did nothing. <laughs> Why did it? Why did it pull that up? Oh my god! <laughs> Why did it pull that quote up? Oh my god! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs>
guilty. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh, I don't even remember why I said that. Yes, that was during the collab, Sheppy. I don't even know why I said that. Oh my god. <laughs> Like, I feel like it might have been directed at Sheppy, but I really don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Sheppy, Sheppy's never coming back here. Sheppy's just gonna be like, all right, well, um, goodbye, Blaze. Good, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Then Sheppy was winning. <laughs> it probably was. Although Keishin won that whole thing. He cheated. He cheated, he cheated. But still. <laughs> I was I was I was I was probably in a very upset upset mind. How does <laughs> it being directed at Jeff? <laughs> I did I did say it made it better! But I don't know why I said that. Like I don't remember like a Fox minigame in that game. You got destroyed during that collapse. So accurate, exactly, exactly. I could, I could have dominated. I could have dominated, but the game favored Keishin over it. I'm like, God damn it! <laughs> I would, I would have been right there, right there. God. See, Raz, Raz, stay roasting, folks. He really is, cause he was good at party animals too. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Now see here, sir. You can't be winning every game. I'm gonna come for them hills next time. Lethal, Co well, Lethal Company is a uh, is a uh, is a collab game or or a a co-op game. You're not supposed to go for other people in that one. <laughs> Just like Dead by Daylight. Like imagine, imagine if people play Dead by Daylight where they purposely drag the killer to you. Not for vengeful reasons whatsoever. There are actually people who do that in DVD. I am not one of them. These collabs just him flexing on us, right? Oh. Uh, Fox is out here afraid to come out to play. That's literally the whole point of existing. And you sh got these foxes out here shook. Listen. Listen, I'm not trying to end the foxes. I'm not. I'm not. I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> to be fair, the one time you saw someone do that, it was when their teammate uh, spent the whole time in a locker. Oh, oh, damn. You know what? That's fair. Because I would do the same in a friends group and in a randoms group. If I see like a player has just literally been hiding in a locker the, en the entire game and the killer's just like, damn, I don't know where they are. I'm gonna be like, listen, here, I'm gonna point. I'm gonna I'm gonna point to the locker. I'm gonna point to the locker right here. Mm-hmm. Killer, they right there. There you go. You can't sacrifice me because they're right there. I'm pointing. I'm pointing. I'm giving you a hint as to where they are. Cause I would definitely do that shit. I don't care if you are my friend. You probably hate my ass. I'll be like, yep. I ratted you out because you ain't about to be here throwing the game by hiding in the locker. You better commit to these Jennies and help us escape. She out here turning foxes into Krabby Patties. I'm not. Listen, yes, yes, Salem. If you see me point at a locker, just know it was somebody <laughs> who chose to hide in a locker the entire time. I'm just gonna be like Salem. They right here. They 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 right here. Salem, Salem, Salem. They right here. Listen, you can kill me as well, but you gotta you gotta you gotta get that person as well. You gotta get that person in the locker. Is Blaze's OP not egg Eggman? Listen. Listen. No. No, Laiku. No. No, never. Never. No. I love Baby Tails. I love him. I would never put him in a stew. I can do a nice Tails voice, too. Listen! I'm not that terrible, okay? God! Y'all make me out to be some kind of criminal. Jeez. 
Would fox meat be good? I don't know. I don't want to try it. I've never had fox in my life. Oh, not the bunk. Not Bambi's forest. What? You making chicken nuggets out of that boy? Don't lie, I'm not! Uh, why does this, why does this ring look so menacing? Like a whole ass laser is about to like shoot out of it. Here it is, a bit dusty from the years in the stores. Good gracious, yes, that's it. I haven't seen that in 10 years ago. And that was found inside the victim's stomach? <laughs> Not <laughs> evil fun dooms ring. I, yes, I'm afraid so. You hesitated there, Professor Mikatoba. Should we read something into that? Ah, oh, well, it's just that thinking back now. I didn't actually witness the moment it was extracted from the victim's body. Oh my, really? At that precise moment, Dr. Wilson had asked me to fetch him a new scalpel, you see. Mm-hmm. The plot thickens. No, not, not Flava Flay's ring. Dr. Gory, the removal of historic evidence from the stores requires my consent, does it not? It also don't look Japanese at all. Oh, wait, no, no, no. That's a... Uh... Wait, no, you're right. That is his father's ring. Interesting. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't look Japanese. <laughs> However, it came to be here. The court cannot deny that this is crucial evidence for today's proceedings. <laughs> she really did. Like, that's all she does is just like, I don't want to answer no more questions. Mask on. Very well, you may submit it. And yet, no one can see her. It's not the sort of ring normally seen in Japan. And they almost look like claws protecting that jewel. Yeah, right? <clears throat> you must examine it caref uh, very carefully, Mr. Norohodo. Very carefully indeed. Did it actually belong to him? Presumed to have been swallowed up by the victim as a way of posthumously identifying his assailant. What if the jewel is poison? Possibly. Mask off. <laughs> Fuck it, mask off. <laughs> and that <clears throat> that the decisive piece of evidence that led to Genshin Sogi's arrest. Correct. After further investigations by Scotland Yard, the man admitted to his crimes. That's a lie. My father was no killer. But Rock Van Seeks, it was you. You twisted the truth to suit your purposes. Your hatred of me doesn't change the facts that were established ten years ago. <clears throat> My brother Clint had closed in on the professor. In the end, he exposed the man and put a stop to his lethal rampage. In the way only a man of my brother's caliber could. Man, you grasping at straws, Kazuma. I know. I know you hurt. That's everything, is it? Poor father. He looks so troubled. Perhaps because ten years ago, something happened that's been weighing on his mind. Oh? I couldn't say were his words. <clears throat> that phrasing was very deliberate, I'm sure. I wonder if he's had his suspicions all these years. If that's the case, we need to use this cross-examination to prove what really happened and remove any trace of doubt. If we could establish that Kazuma-sama's claim of fabricated evidence was true, we can't shy away from this now. Even if what we might uncover could lead to total calamity, don't worry, Mr. Narohodo. I'll be right beside you, whatever may happen. Not five heads. Also, let's see. Can we... Can we look at the ring real quick? Let me see. It's a nice little jewel on top. 
Ooh, that scared me. <laughs> I was like, what is that? It's my wife. Hello. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Hi, wifey. Hello. Welcome in. How's your day treating you so far? I hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. But how are you, lovely? These fat claws are doing a good job of protecting the equally fat gemstone in the middle of this ring. Why you gotta refer to everything as fat, Ryanosuke? You a big boned hater, aren't you? Yes, if you were clumsy, you could give yourself a rather nasty cut on them, I should think. Ow! Now my finger's bleeding. The claws really are sharp. Why you touch it? Why did you touch it? Oh my, that was very quick clumsiness, Mr. Naruhoto, even for you. Also, this is what they, I'm sorry, let me move so you can see Susato. That's what their actual fits look like. I just have them in a costume, but the game keeps their uh, 2D portraits uh, what they normally wear. Ugh. Who would make such a dangerous ring? You couldn't swallow it without doing yourself some fairly serious damage, surely. A sticky mochi bun if of about that size would go down much better. With some red bean paste in the middle. Why are you trying to figure out ways of killing people with this ring, Susato? Someone as clumsy as me would probably manage to choke on it somehow. And then it would tear your throat and that would be even extra painful. Like, imagine if you were swallowing this ring and it just basically left lacerations in your throat. You'd hate life. That lady said that there was no internal damage, right? Yes. Yes. He like me thick. Oh, see, I thought there would be like some sort of like engravement or something on here. No. Nope. No. Nope. Nothing at all. Sharp enough to cause a very nasty scratch. Good to know. All right. Okay. So. It's just that beautiful but dangerous piece of evidence removed from the man's stomach. Nope, go back. There's no other signs of eternal injury. Nothing questionable at all. Even... I'm gonna save this just in case this game betrays me. Because <laughs> remember, they found that ring in somebody's stomach. But if there were no lacerations, then why was it there in the first place? So, uh... You want to talk about this? The court has heard that the ring was extracted from the victim's stomach. But you didn't actually see it being removed, did you, Professor Mikotoba? Yeah, exactly, Shattered. Exactly. You you already you already caught what uh what I saw about that. That's right. As a, as I said in my testimony before, at that moment, I was fetching a replacement scalpel that Dr. Wilson had requested. In other words, you can, e you can neither confirm nor deny whether this ring, in fact, really came from the victim's stomach or not. What are you suggesting? What are you suggesting, counsel? That the ring was never in the victim's stomach to begin with. It's entirely feasible that Dr. Wilson's fabricated that detail about the autopsy. What are you saying? That Dr. Wilson? That Dr. Wilson was in possession of the ring in advance after it was somehow stolen from Mr. Sogi. Oh. And he produced it during the procedure, pretending to have found it there and then in the victim's stomach. Idiot. Supposition at best. What possible evidence do you have to support such a rash claim? This evidence right here. Oh, so you just got evidence before you, you even let me pull off. That, that's the autopsy report. It's explicit in that report, counsel. 
Other than that ring, nothing unusual was noted internally. So I'm not sure how you intend to prove your point. Oh, don't you worry. You've already done it for me, my lord. The lack of internal energy says it all. What? To swallow a ring of this size would require considerable effort and determination. And in addition to its size, there are sharp claws around the gemstone to contend with. My brother was a determined man and on the brink of death even more so, I'm sure. He would have stopped at nothing to ensure that evil killer was brought to justice. But if he really had swallowed that enormous ring, it's inconceivable that no traces of its passage down his throat would have remained as internal trauma. No. Yep, we cook it now. There you have arrived at the sticking point. That's precisely why I had my doubts about findings. About the findings myself ten years ago. Then why didn't you say something at the time? I did. I still remember the conversation I had with Dr. Wilson in the laboratory that day. Look at this! Now this is a very curious thing to find in a man's stomach, wouldn't you say? But isn't that rather peculiar, Dr. Wilson? What's that now, Nikotoba? Well, if he swallowed a ring of that size with those sharp metal claws that it has, surely you'd expect to see damage to the throat and esophagus torn mucous membranes and at the very least. Dr. Mikotoba, may I remind you? I have vastly more experience than you. I, I'm terribly sorry. I can think of plenty of ways to explain why no injuries would be seen. No, 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 there's, I, there's not that much, unless it's like a zero, 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 zero point one percent of a chance that he swallowed that ring and it just decide to, you know, go down exactly right down that pipe and not touch a damn slither of flesh going down the esophagus then maybe but even then like once it gets into his organs if it's just floating around and still doesn't like you know touch anything that's so that's so slim outside of that it's ripping open something in your in your body Unless this man's lubricated his throat. He'd have to put the ring in a sandwich and swallow it whole. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right, exactly, Zazy. No, let's say, say this. The victim would appear to have ingested the item as evidence to identify his assailant. Go ahead, write it down. Mmm, that sounds so shady. So I understand Mikatoba's, you know, sort of hesitation there. So I was right. Dr. Wilson deliberately fabricated the results of the autopsy to implicate my father. I'm disappointed, Counsel. That argument is nothing more than speculation. What? Dr. Wilson was Britain's leading authority on forensic science and autopsy work. There's no scientific basis on which to doubt the man's expert opinion. Pardon the interruption, my lord, but... Damage to the mucous membranes of the throat is easily identified, even in living sus uh, subjects. Using a device called an endoscope, recently demonstrated in practical use in France. I want one. The government can pay. That's right, Gory. You on to something. I don't think so. And Dr. Gory, the rest, rest assured that your removal of evidence from the stores without permission will not go unpunished. Ooh. Poor baby. We open up the dead to find the truth. That's right, Gory. Speak your shit. I beg your pardon? But Mama... She chose to stitch up her, corse, her corpses up with all her secrets inside. 
That's wrong. Dr. Gori, it's looking as though she's chosen to walk a different path to her mama. Yeah, thankfully. Because she could easily go down the same route of Dr. Scythe and cover up some shit. Don't you toss it. Okay, well, you're going to crush it anyway. Why? There's no stopping this man. Yes, the ring. What about the ring? I've just remembered something. An earlier incident. What incident? The one I recounted to you before about a memory I have. Of Genshin Asogi saving my life. What? My... my father? Saved your life? It was ten years ago on a foggy night. Genshin and I were walking down some back streets at a late hour. All of a sudden... Don't make a peep. You're coming with us. Oh, it's some salients. Oh, hey, look, it's 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 uh, Kazuma's dad in Van Zeke's. All of our salients were armed with pistols, their faces obscured by scars. Bang! The God! <laughs> the next thing I knew, there was silence all around. Oh, there's another three-minute ad. Enjoy the void. We will continue this once y'all get back from the ad void. Let me know what you see, but also enjoy this art because I don't want y'all to miss a single piece of what's to come. So, be right back. Okay, we're back. <clears throat> the ads should have gone away. And hopefully y'all saw some interesting ones and not like horrible, creepy ones like I have been seeing. Genshin lay on the cobbled street. Blood was seeping from his left hand. He shielded me. Oh, damn. It was on the ring finger of his left hand that he used to wear that fake that ring. Ah! Are, are you saying? I've always believed those thugs were after me. But now I'm starting to question if perhaps... I wasn't the intended target after all. Ghost fans from the future blowing wind. Like, imagine. It, it, it could just be, like, you know, the first uh, Asogi family member who just appears and it's just like, oh, I see you. You have a headband on. Here, let me stand in front of your face and blow in front of it. There you go. Hold on. Let me get, let me get an actual paper fan going. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> There we go. Now we're getting some wind action in here. Like, imagine your family member is looking out for you, even you know, <laughs> beyond the uh, beyond the grave. So wait, but Genshin was arrested two days after that attack. <laughs> Shattered. The ancestors out here providing weather for you. Hacker. Yes. And in that short interval, the decisive evidence needed to indict him was miraculously found. You mean the ring was stolen from him? You think that's what those thugs were after that night? You, you pathetic coward. Oh, you expect me to believe that you weren't involved? What do you mean by that? It was you, wasn't it? You're the one who took it. You stole my father's ring. No, boy, if you don't get over yourself, you don't get over yourself with all these you know, baseless accusations toward Van Zeke's life. He did nothing. He did nothing. We gonna clear it up, okay? So you can understand. You set the whole thing up. Thank you, Ryanosuke. Please. <laughs> Thank 
you, Daisy. Someone needs to check him. Kazuma, open your eyes. Ryanosuke, you must know deep down. The truth can be completely obscured, even with your when your judgment is only slightly clouded. But at the moment, you seem to be floundering through a dense fog. Is that why you were so insistent? I should present in this trial. I should be present present in this trial to see you like this. My man is innocent. You listen, I'm fighting for him as well, Dwayne. <laughs> well, this is an amusing spectacle. What a grandiose expression on your face. As if you were Lady Justice herself. <gasps> oh my god! I don't think Meku is here, but I'm so happy! I just saw the notification in the Discord. Tell Meku I said congrats if anyone's taking a peek in there. It seems you've thoroughly convinced yourself of this alleged fabrication of the autopsy reports. So much so that you're apparently blind to the blatant contradiction that would be born out of it. What? Though it's extremely hard to believe, let us imagine that there was some misconduct during the autopsy. If that were the case, why would Asogi have not have disputed the findings of this trial? Oh. In the closed court hearing ten years ago, the defendant never once denied the claims against him. Isn't that right, Lord Van Zeeks? Mm-hmm. Yes, that is indeed correct. Upon hearing the verdict of guilty, he merely closed his eyes, quietly accepting the judgment. The actions of a man who has accepted responsibility for his deeds and is resigned to his fate. But, but then... Oh my, that is very strange. If Mr. Asoki did nothing to oppose the charges against him, then... That would surely mean there was no fabricated evidence. An obvious conclusion at which you should have arrived many minutes ago, Prosecutor Asoki. Your twisted loyalty and clouded judgment are hampering your ability for logical thought. Darn! Genshin Asoki's silence at his hearing can mean only one thing. There was no fabrication of evidence during the autopsy of his final victim ten years ago. Ah! No, don't give up, Ryanosuke. But if that autopsy was all above board, there'll be nothing to stop Lord Strongheart bringing this trial to an immediate conclusion. Yes. 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 Kazuma? Speak your mind. Thank you, Ryanosuke. If it wasn't for your frank words just now. Mm hmm. This trial may have. may very well have ended prematurely. Yes. K Kazuma? What's this, l what's this latest absurdity, Council? My lord. Your reasoning is perfectly sound. But for one giant hole. Oh? I beg your pardon? You claim my father's silence was due to the fact that there was no fabricated evidence. But there's another possible explanation. You've overlooked the possibility. That he had a reason for maintaining that silence. Silence that would lead to him being convicted and sent to his death. If the autopsy results were an invention, there's no conceivable reason why the man wouldn't have protested. Oh, those results were an invention, all right. There's no question of that. Or are you forgetting that two people with a connection to that autopsy have been assassinated? Mm-hmm. If I force the grievances I feel from my mind, I start to see you in a very different light. Okay, yes. He got Edgeworth vibes, don't he? Don't he? I think perhaps it's you who's been living in delusion these ten years. 
You need more Blaze voice acting? Listen, it's coming. It's coming because I already... I think I... Oh, no, I didn't share it with y'all. I shared it with Discord, folks. Ha <laughs> ha. Because I do have another one coming for, uh, for Blaze bath time, and that's all I'm going to say. Any case. <clears throat> Continuing. Kazuma-sama has created one last chance for us here, Mr. Naruhodo. If we can only show there was a reason for his father's silence in this trial. A reason why the man would have said nothing even though he was innocent? Could it have been part of some negotiation, perhaps? Enough rhetoric. The court must be shown evidence. What proof do you have that could possibly explain Asogi's silence in court? Um, I mean... There is, a uh, Possibly... Possibly this, I think. Chief Warder Daily Vigil is relieved of his post with immediate effect for having violated. Uh huh. Ah. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. Keep going. Keep going. There's one more. Because I forgot it was, there was like a whole planned jailbreak for him. Yep, that was why. Which we'll get into the details of. So, yeah, there was a whole planned jailbreak for Kazuma's father. Um, in regards to this dismissal notice. But I, I'm not, I can't say too much because otherwise I may accidentally reveal some things. Hi, sleeper, welcome in. Had to have two autopsies, right? Because they buried him alive, right? You cooking, Zazy. You cooking. That's all I can say. It's true that Genshin Asogi's silence during his trial resulted in his conviction. But that didn't actually lead to his execution, on the contrary. Yeah, that that happened in an earlier case um, in, regarding, like, puppets and... Wax, wax figurines in a in a wax figurine museum, where they have one of uh, the quote unquote professor who had like a whole sort of uh, mounted like you like no you know one of those like sort of like helmets that people wear where it's like encompassing the entirety of their head and not just like the top of their head, but it's like it covers the face and the back. He had like one of those on him um, because nobody has ever seen the professor. Uh, before so but the person who created that figure basically went on based on like the stuff that she witnessed that night that the quote unquote professor was killed which when we uncovered the mask we found out that the person behind the professor quote unquote mask was Genshin Asogi which is Kazuma's father so so now it's sounding like this was all for show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, there were reasons. There were so many reasons, but we're going to get to it if we get to the end of this game, which I'm determined to finish this game tonight. All you know is they got hot. <laughs> A full cow. Yes. It led to his escape. An escape that was only possible because he'd been sentenced to death. Although I find it hard to believe my father would have negotiated in that way. The defense is correct. Mm-hmm. A fake execution, falsification of a death certificate, and a jailbreak inside a coffin. Clearly such an elaborate plan couldn't have been carried out by my father alone. Mm hmm he must have had the help of a collaborator from the judiciary. I have here the dismissal notice of the chief warder who was working in the prison at the time. So Sogi was supposed to be alive and free after all this, but then he got seen and someone shot him. Did we know who shot him? These are all questions, Zazy. We'll be playing it next week. <laughs> no, don't manifest this, Blake, please! I'm trying to speed run this so bad. The notes read, there are indications that the jailbreak was planning prior to the inmates incarceration. In other words, 
There were suggestions of some sort of negotiation between Mr. Asogi and the British government. In exchange for his silence in the court, he was given an assurance that he would be broken out of prison. Yes, with that sort of clandestine, uh, clandestine agreement in place, I can imagine he would have kept very quiet. You see the running but speed? I know, I'm sorry, Blake. I would go further than that, in fact, I would say. Now, the elaborate, elaborate jailbreak of Mr. Asoki can be explained in no other way. <laughs> it's because I keep breaking the talk to you, heathens. Order, order. First fabricated evidence and now a jailbreak conspiracy. Of course, because it's all intimately linked. The prosecution wishes to summon new witnesses to the stand. Excuse me? Witnesses? People who can testify about the jailbreak that took place 10 years ago. Oh. Ah. Governor Kaiden, the racist prick who was just like, yeah, I'm gonna turn my back on these Japanese folks. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't forgot about him. Also, Malachi, welcome in. How's your Saturday treating you so far? You just called me <laughs> a Keevan? Yes, I did, Joker. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it? And the poor chief warder of the police. How dare you. <laughs> I won't allow this trial to turn to a farce. The summon of the governor of the prison after all these three, all these years. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be any trouble, my lord. What? Father? My dearest friend may appear a little rattle-pated at some times, but I can assure you he's extremely thorough. Uh, he called us some hurtful names. I want you to understand that, Mikotoba. I can't remember those names because I honestly blanked them from my head. Oh, thank you for the head pass. Oh. But, uh, no, nah, I remember he said some really hurtful racist ass shit. Called us like 12 slurs. He wired both Barclay and the local prison earlier. Asking Governor Kaiden and Mr. Vigil to attend the Old Bailey as a matter of extreme urgency. Mr. Sholmes did that? Oh my god! <gasps> Malachi! Hi, if you don't know me, I am Blaze at Midnight. I am a dragon VTuber here on Twitch, and we are playing the Ace Attorney Chronicles, which is a point and click, but also like a visual novel esque, like mystery murder drama game with a ha ha he he hoo hoo's not meant to be taken super seriously, but you know, there is some, uh, some slight blood, not really gore, but slight blood and killings and all that stuff in this game, but. Still a great time. I love the Ace Attorney series. This man is no longer has control of his courtroom. <laughs> but how was your stream, Malachi? I saw that you were playing Lies of P. How was it? Did you finish the game? Are you still continuing your journey? It looks like a very interesting game. I know very little about it outside of like, it follows, I guess, closely to the, uh, the storyline of Pinocchio. But in terms of like combat and like difficulty and everything else, graphics, all that stuff. It looks very interesting. You're still tr uh, trucking through. You're learning more as you go. Hey, nice. We love to see it. But yes, if you're if you're just joining in and you need to do some stream aftercare, and that goes for anybody else coming in from the raid. If you're tired, hungry, need to take care of some other things, please do so. Your mental and physical health comes first. But if you just want to, you know, sit down. Invest in the very end of this game because I'm trying to beat it tonight. <laughs> I'm literally trying to beat it tonight because I do not want to carry this game over into 2024 after playing it for like two years. Like, no lie. I have been playing this game for two years. It's a very sad, sad state of affairs. <laughs> the game is gorgeous. It is. Like, part of me wants to play it, but at the same time, I know I'm going to suck at playing that game. Because it's very Souls-esque. And I'm like, nah, I, 
playing a game where it's just like sometimes the enemies be taking them cheap shots, I just have to be like, yep, I'm putting the game down, turning off the console, and going outside and just seeking some sunlight because no, not today. You're not about to piss me off. <laughs> But yeah, the combat in that game looks really, really good. So I've been enjoying watching people play it when um when I get the chance to. But I'm glad that you're you're enjoying the game so far. And what was he convicted of? Oh, we we about to find out. Also, those coming in who are also playing this game themselves. Um, again, we are in part two of uh of the great ace attorney chronicles as well as the very last chapter in this game so if you do not want spoils i encourage you to leave right now or just you know do a heavy lurk either way but also if you want to get to know me a little bit more i have a little raid video i like to show folks who raid me so enjoy my path is the only path i can take yeah i know it's chosen there ain't no easy road i got to create it's not giving I'm just living. I'm just living. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through. Shake it up your feet. Hold the drive. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through. Watch where you're going. Hold the drive. Let the down side up to top notch. What I'm here to do. I top that. Do it like this. Do it like that. Do it like how we did. But now I do it like what? Feed your artist. Determination, I just imagine the things that happen. Except the ass laughing. You go there, please gotta keep asking. Losers terribly empty facto. What you don't possess, it's not in stores. I work my ass while you win a bad score. Turning dust to gold, hardcore. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through. Shake it up your seat. Hold the drive. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through. Watch where you go away. Hold the drive. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through. Shake it up your seat. Hold the drive. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through. Watch where you go away. Hold the drive. But yeah, that's just a little bit about me and some of the games I be playing over here. Today's a story time day, so we're playing some nice, nice visual novel games. So it's a very lurk friendly, chill vibes, but also because it's an Ace Attorney game, chaotic type of stream. Oh my God, is that the boo boo bless? The boo boo bless? Oh my God. Bless, I was gonna tip my wig for you. I was gonna tip my wig. I was gonna tip my wig, and then you 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 pound me with several several of my uh several of my hubbies. Several bodies of my hubbies. How dare. But how are you, Bless? How's your Saturday treating you so far? You heard there was pizza? Who lied to you? Was it Pop? I, I, I believe Pop probably told that lie. I, 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 can, I can definitely believe Pop probably told that lie. But how are you? Tips lace run? I guess, I guess you deserve a tippeth of my wig. There you go, madam. <laughs> well, so the pizza was a lie, you cry? No! No! It's okay, I'm sorry. Sorry, bless. I'm sorry. Whoever lied to you, you know, I'll give vengeance for them. Strong heart, my book. Yeah, why you lie? Why you loving the evil ones? <laughs> why you loving the evil ones? You're gonna get some food and chill a bit, Blaze, but you're killing it. I'll be back. Oh, thank you, Malachi. I appreciate it. Enjoy the foods, and also, if you come back, you gotta tell us what you're eating. That's the one rule that I make in the streams. Like, if you come back with a plate of food, you gotta feed the rest of the class and describe it in full detail of what you're munching on. But yeah, go take care of your things. He's evil and rich? Oh, so you mean an evil and rich type of character, such as...
No, you cannot ban me. You cannot ban me for having immaculate taste. Astro deemed it so. I have immaculate taste. You cannot. You cannot ban me for having immaculate taste. <laughs> you just being out of pocket. No, I just have immaculate taste, AZ. Your <laughs> taste is questionable, my dear. Gross immaculate. Please, AZ. Is the Astro in the room with us? Probably not right now. They were here yesterday, though. Can confirm. Astro Astro was here with us yesterday. They were yester they were here yesterday because <laughs> I made sure their intro called them out because they did not realize that my uh my raid alert was much shorter than uh than their intro because they be trying to they be trying to sneak it in and just be like, yep, mm -hmm. I'm here but not here. <laughs> Glad we all agree that Blaze is wrong. I'm not wrong. I'm immaculate and always right. Always right. Can never falter. Okay, but where's the one for Dialogue, Zhang Li, Kaya, and the Stars of Genshin? See, Dwayne? Dwayne. 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 Hear me out. Hear me out, Dwayne. Hear me out. It's it's a common. It's a common. Because I'm gonna incorporate. I will, I will wait, 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 wait! No, you're so mean to me. Just know, they're gonna come with a slice of cake. A thick, chunky piece of cake. And y'all are gonna enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Oh! <laughs> Hit me harder. <laughs> with child's crusty no! No! <laughs> Is this wolf cake? Possibly, Salem. Possibly. Nothing. Absolutely nothing, evil. Can we boo? Why y'all booing me? Y'all so hateful. God. God, how do I ban how do I ban viewers? How do I how do I just ban the entire community? How how do I do that? How do I ban every single person here who has just slandered my good name? How do I ban them? I don't know how to do that. Now I I'm not attacking! Wait a minute! I'm not attacking wolves! I'm not attacking wolves! I have not attacked a wolf at all, except for the one in Genshin. And that's because I'm grabbing that ass regardless. <laughs> I'll catch an assault charge for that one, yes indeed. Yes and fuck indeed. <laughs> oh, it's quote ad. I got you, Nia. I got you. It's quote ad. All one word. There you go. Salem got you. This is a questionable stream. What? What? See, y'all getting me distracted again. I'm supposed to be speed running this game. You're going for like 20 minutes and you come back to you making wolf cakes. I'm not making wolf cakes. I'm grabbing them. Both men are useless. I'm much mistaken. Waiting just outside the courtroom at this very moment. <laughs> that's, like, that's like the perfect quote to make in this game. I'll catch an assault charge. <laughs> My lord, you must permit this trial to proceed as you declared at its outset. Yes, there goes beautiful, lovely Kazuma, who's alive and well and not dead at all. You promised that we would stop at nothing to uncover the whole truth behind those these disturbing findings. Very well, bring in the witnesses. Not lock her up and throw away the key. Wait, I deserve my freedom. I'm black. Make no mistake. I, too, would like nothing more than to lay this business to rest once and for all. <laughs> Listen, I said what I said. I said what I said. 
the court shouting, my baby, you all racist. <laughs> oh. Would the new witnesses state their names and occupations for the court, please? <laughs> Salem, please. <laughs> Hey, Barry Kaiden, governor of Bar Clay Prison. I can't do his accent. Do not get used to it. I'll, I'll try to turn it on every now and then. I cannot do his accent. It's very hard for me. Oh God, no, please, no. This that man with the with the flimsy, flaccid lip. Oh, I'm not joking. He really did have a flaccid lip on his face. Peep the earlier vods. You can see it, just bouncing in the wind. Rio, <laughs> Rio Nosuke is like you, right, Nia? He's like us all. I did not lie. If you were here, you you know. Lisa having a thing for wolf boys while also being a wolf boy. Me, <laughs> I am in danger. <laughs> yes, you are. Oh my God. Let me stop. I'm gonna behave. I'm gonna behave. My name is Daily Vigil. I used to be the chief warder at Barclay Prison. The reason you've been summoned here to court today is to testify about the jailbreak of the so-called professor 10 years ago. Losh, the professor! We've already been through all this before a decade ago. And the conclusion was that there wasn't a anything to up toward, untoward happen. I, I, I hate the way he talks, I hate it. A convict escaped from your prison, Governor. Hardly what you'd call nothing untoward. Ah, well. The convict's death certificate was somehow falsified after he was allegedly executed. And he escaped the prison inside his own coffin. A plan of that complexity could never have been carried out without the help of somebody of influence inside the prison. The bones are mine! Oh my god, thank you for the follow. Hello, enjoy your stay at the Midnight Dragon Cove. He's trying to clap every wolf boy's cheeks. Good thing he's in court already. Yes, exactly. Clapping, clapping to the glissy glapping. Oh, let me stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to bring that, ter that term back. <laughs> Governor Kaiden, don't imagine that the passage of time will afford you any protection. Also, this man's name is literally Daily Vit. Yes. Yes, Stacey. Don't you love Ace Attorney and their puns? Don't you just love Ace Attorney and their name puns? They're so great. They're so great. Suddenly feel, uh, suddenly don't feel like, feel any FOMO for missing some Ace Attorney streets. Not this. If it turns out that you were involved in the plot to break Mr. Sogi out of your prison, then of course. The consequences will be very serious. In all likelihood, a capital punishment. Cats! Hold on there, laddie. I was just a witness, Governor Kaiden. Hmm? Da hi, sir. You have a critical role to play in the public safety of our country. A great responsibility to shoulder. The significance of your testimony in court cannot be understated. Therefore, think carefully before you speak. And Prosecutor Asogi, if you threaten the witness again, you will be held in contempt of court. Ooh. My apologies, my lord. There's no disputing the fact that an intricate jailbreak break plot was enacted ten years ago. Clearly, you were both involved in some way. So you'll testify before the court now and explain exactly what took place. And call them out, Ryanosuke. Very well, let the witnesses give their formal testimony. Tell the court everything you know of the plot to break Asogi out of Barclay ten years ago. This man just threatened a witness from the judge <laughs> stand, yes! The jailbreak plot. It was a day that Japanese jock... Oh, Lord. 
here we go, was found guilty. The directive came from the prosecutor's office. I assigned the convict to the chief ward of vigil here and put the plan into action behind the scenes. I was responsible for Asogi right up until the night of his execution, but I knew nothing of any plot. I didn't care if there was some negotiations between the convict and the prosecutor's office. All I did was carry out my route, my duty, for Her Majesty, Great British Empire. Oh, it's very short and sweet. I, I like the short and sweet testimonies. <clears throat> A director from the prosecution, prosecutor's office. Are you saying that was the jailbreak plot? Strongheart looked like he committed every crime under the sun? Yes. Yes, Dwayne. Accurate. Aye, that's, that's right. Who sent it? Who authorized that plan? I didn't care th that. You're saying you don't know? Listen, there wasn't, there wasn't a thing about the professor case that wasn't unusual in some way. I can't, I just, I'm going to fight this man. I didn't ask any questions, I just did what I was told to do. More than that, I couldn't tell you. I see. What if the jailbreak plan originated from the prosecutor's office? Then one thing is very clear. I got you. Ah! Hi, Lai. Welcome back. <clears throat> Not ready for the tour! Been saying this for a half a year or more and was finally validated today. Don't you feel so proud, Zazie? You just tried to read this man's words out loud and slipped into Jamaican accent because your brain could not compute. Listen, I can't. I can't. Like, I get the accent that they're going for. It's just, I cannot. Oh, Nia, I just realized that you <laughs> you captured that quote. Wait, we're at 314 already? How? When did this happen? We just hit 300. How are we at 314 quotes? The fuck? As suspected, there were clandestine dealings going on between Mr. Asogi and that office. The jailbreak was promised in exchange for Mr. Asogi admitting to crimes he didn't commit. <laughs> that counsel is nothing more than speculation on your part. It's okay, your sins will be forgiven as long as you believe in strong. I refuse! I know what this man did! No! <laughs> I will not forgive this man in the slightest! He can kiss my whole hairy ass tail! No! No! So let me ask the fence. Oh, yes, my lord? I fail to see how these witnesses have any more pertinent information here. Do you intend to assert your right to cross-examination? <laughs> yes, Lycoon, yes, absolutely. Absolutely, I have no intention of squandering a single opportunity, my lord. <laughs> you know what? Valid. <clears throat> Absolutely valid. I'm sucking on the glaze of this candy cane right now. I tell no lies. Seems you all, all you Japanese are fiercely tenacious. <clears throat> Very well. Proceed, Council. Oh, there's the cross-examination. The jailbreak plot. I'm not mad at it, just like me, for real, to be honest. Go off into the wild quotes. Listen. Some of those are completely innocent, I promise you. It's just, I don't be thinking. I do not be thinking. And you say you don't know who actually issued the directive. Aye, that's right. All I can be sure of is that it was official. 
But if it was from the prosecutor's office, that narrows down to who could have issued it straight away. It wasn't me. I can even say with certainty that it did originate from the prosecutor's office. What? There's no telling where it started. There's a fair chance it came from higher up the ladder. Basically, I cannot give you any indication of who, who was behind it. You can't be serious. All we can say for sure is that the order must have come from somebody in authority, I suppose. The likes of us on the ground, as it were, didn't bother with, a, with idle speculation. We just get the job done. So, Mr. Vigil, you didn't know anything about it at all. That's right, my only role in the scheme was as a scapegoat. That's right, isn't it, Governor? Not you both looking depressed! Some poor beggar had to take the rap for it. Why y'all both look depressed? All right then, who else did know about the plan? I have not the f first idea, laddie. My p part in the whole business was basically just dealing with the aftermath. But I wouldn't be surprised if there were other folk in the prison service who've been given similar orders. So you don't know who else was involved? Aye, that's right. All I can tell you is that the night it actually happened, the person at the reins was Dr. Stevens. Dr. Stevens? Oh, oh, Courtney. Yeah, that's right, Dr. Sai. Uh, Dr. Courtney Stevens. Dr. Sife, as she's known now. Ha, <sighs> why did I have to get caught up in such a terrible business? I mean, you did that yourself. But apparently offended someone's Jamaican ancestors enough. <laughs> they were like, your accent ain't leaving the Caribbean. Also, thank you for the reminder to hydrate, Wayne. Oh, refreshing. He's sad he got a lock. He's he gotta lock up his beloved up. Oh god. Listen. We don't care about strong heart. We don't care about him. Did you miss before you went? We were talking about the ring in the guy's stomach. Um so we found out the ring can't destroy like it wasn't swallowed, it wasn't ingested, it was fabricated. So Dr. Wilson had planted the ring in the deceased body to make it seem like, oh yeah, he swallowed this. But it was all just fabricated just so to kind of like help break out Ahsoki, which is uh, Kazuma's dad out of prison back then. Now what that reason was and who all collaborated, we don't quite know for sure who all did it, but we know Dr. Wilson fabricated that to, to get to that. So yeah, yeah, we're getting to the bottom of the prison break. Oh, continue. And also, thank you for the stretch reminder. Oh, 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 that's a good stretch. Oh, my bones. Did you not notice anything unusual happening in the lead up to that night? Oh, everything was unusual, except exception after exception. After all, it was the professor. The man had terrorized the country as never before with his crimes. In order to hide his identity, he was forced to wear an iron mask over his head. Okay, so they did put an iron mask over him. Hideous treatment. I know, Cosmo. I know. But also, it probably was part of the reason why they covered his head up with the mask. The fellow was surprisingly docile for someone who'd taken the lives of five of the country's nobles. Being the chief warder, I was the only person permitted to approach his cell. I can still hardly believe that I was duped by my own country. I believe you jumped from the window of the governor's office when the jailbreak was blamed on you, didn't you? Yeah, he did! Losh, Vizzle, Vigil, I can't apologize enough. No, governor. I don't believe you can. It won't change what's happened. And what else can you tell us about the situation, Governor Kaiden? Ha.
Yes. But you've already acknowledged that orders came from the prosecutor's office to arrange for the man's escape. There must have been some sort of negotiation. It's the only explanation. I, well, be that as it may, I didn't nothing about that. The witness stand is no place for telling what you don't know for sure. I can that much do I do. Then I presume you also know this. Not telling what you do know is a criminal offense. So you were just following orders, is that it? I'm afraid that won't absolve you of guilt here. The man was still killed illegally, even if he was a condemned criminal. You may very well be found complicit in murder, Governor. True. So that's what it's to be, is it? Even with the threat of conviction, you won't break your silence. Did he say he killed illegally? <laughs> I don't know of a way. <laughs> Right, Daisy. I don't. I don't know of a legal way of <laughs> to kill someone. But yeah, go off. Oh, you shipping them? You know what? Yeah, I, 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 I can jump on that ship. I still dislike Kaiden because he's a whole racist prick. Oh, you know what? Vigil's also another. Another Eng Englander who hasn't said anything racist in regards to Japanese people. So, he gets a pass. Vigil also gets a pass, but that does not excuse him for him trying to, like, you know, confuse us earlier with his shady testimony. Revenge for stealing tea, maybe? Possibly. Did you carry out the plan in its entirety? I... I did everything I could at the time. As you know, Genshin Asogi was shot dead in Lowgate Cemetery after escape. Tell me, was that part of the plan too? My instructions were to do with getting the jock out of the jail and nothing more. I cannot tell you anything about what happened after that, only... Personally, I believe his death was the last part of the plan. Oh, you got something, my guy? Excuse me. Excuse me. Mr. Vigil, is something wrong? Oh, he having that whole, like, memory lapse. Oh my god, the world is, is, is turning moment. Wow! Yes, sir. What can I do for you, sir? Come, come back to the present, honey. Not our present, because that's too far in the future, but come back to this game's presence. He's saluting now. What is it? Some sort of Barclay convention, right? <laughs> they are meant for each other, Nia. He just needs to go ahead and leave his wife and just go ahead and jump Kaiden's bones. Whatever, what Governor Kaiden was just saying seemed to upset you. Did it bring something to mind, perhaps? Yes, he's married, Zazie. We saw a picture of his wife. His wife was just like, yeah, I know my my, my husband works at Barclay uh, Prison. And he ain't worked there for like 10 years. But he was on the street, not selling his body. Selling something else, I forget. I think it was like information or something. That's that's when you see him with the, with the uh, weird disguise and the flaccid lip. That he just, you know... Just stayed, you know, flicking every now and then. I said what I said. That's what he had on his face. What else you want me to say? For the last 10 years, I've completely blotted out the memories of that time from my mind. <laughs> he was glad. He, he really was. He really was. Because to put it bluntly, I'm so sorry. This man had cream all over his face, a flaccid lip, and was choked out. Not a single thing that I said just now was a lie. <laughs> Not a single thing that I, I said was a lie. You can actually see the choke markings on his, uh, on his person right here. The little red underneath his collar. Yeah, that's, that's where he got choked out. 
I'm, I'm not joking in the slightest. That's literally part of the story. Man's looks like a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Care. Oh no, don't say that, Daisy. Now I can't unsee it. <laughs> kind of was a bit rough. Not this. <laughs> Not this. Oh God. You know, I, I guess I guess that's fair, considering what what happened in this game, where I did not tell a single lie with my statements. Just as my father was betrayed, it seems. Listen, if y'all want to see the full, you know, start to finish of this game, I think I have. I have most of the case. Probably not the beginning portions because it was prior to my my VTuber debut. But you can see like the entire playlist of uh the uh, the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles on my VODs channel. I have to make sure I didn't skip any. I don't think I did. But if you just go there, you'll see that I'll play it um, pretty frequently. And it's just like, there's a whole playlist for that. Oh, thank you, Salem. You already got it. This game is so much. It's so much. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Midnight Dragon Cove. Hope you enjoy your stay. But you see, thinking back now, I really can't imagine that the shooting of Mr. Sogi in the cemetery was ever part of the plan. What makes you think that? <laughs> he really does! <laughs> oh, thank you for the head pass. No. Well, it just doesn't make sense, does it? To make the man admit to crimes he didn't commit with the promise of a jailbreak, only to kill him in the end, yeah. Yeah, this man looks like he might snap his own neck at any- <laughs> No, life, please, no. But also valid. That's treachery of the worst kind, but the point is, if the <laughs> intention was always to betray him, See, now I'm envisioning this, and now it's just going to be a whole comedic spiel. Because he could literally do that in this courtroom. Oh, God. I know, I know, I know. It's, it's, not, it's not just you. Ah. Yes, that's quite true. If whoever negotiated with Asogi never intended to keep his or her own end of the bargain. It would have been far simpler just to let the man be ex executed in prison as dictated by his sentence. It all happened in that vast chamber of secrets that is Barclay behind the high prison walls. I suppose nobody knows what really went on in the execution room now. Yes, it's an unsettling mystery, certainly. Van looks like Edgeworth, right? You want to play the Hurricane Katrina song and just Google slide his... Oh my god, yes. Just do, do it for science. Do it as a fun little project and for science. Yeah, I condone this. He kind of looked like he was holding the head in front of him. <laughs> Truth be told, there's a wee matter that's never quite made sense to me. Yes. Do you believe there was some kind of negotiation behind the jailbreak between Asogi and a body of, at, the, at the top? It doesn't quite add up, does it? True. Governor Kaiden, I must insist that you explain these doubts that you have by admitting your formal testimony. Gads. I go on then. Mm-hmm. It seems to me that the Japanese fella didn't have nothing to bargain with. Nothing to bargain with? You sure? Because I actually disagree. But we'll press on it. We'll press on it just for just just for science. I'm managing the crime. That was what he had to bargain with, surely. I cannot see that myself. Not the forceful arm cross, hello? After all, did he... Did the prosecution have no conclusive evidence against the Carlier? This you mean? 
discovered during the final victim's autopsy. There's every possibility this conclusive evidence was fabricated by Scotland Yard and the prosecutor's office. Possibilities all, all very well, but nothing has been proven. You can holler about misconduct in the trial ten years ago all you like. But if you can't establish that it happened with hard evidence, no one's going to listen. <gasps> oh my god, Mo! Mo, thank you so much! for the five gifted subs to many mediums some guy named bobby or bobble I, I i don't really know how to pronounce that name pop no tarts the one who you just heard that that dope beat for my sub alert which used to be my follow alert but is now my sub alert and jayla sephaday thank you so much i appreciate it hold it I wish Blazette a great stream. Oh, thank you, Mo. I appreciate it. We're going for the goal of finishing this game today. I want to finish this game today. I know we still got a little bit more left or a lot bit, but I'm going to finish it. I'm going to finish it. And I know an ad is about to come to some of y'all's way. I know it. I know it. It's coming. I'll, I'll let y'all know. If you can't establish that it happened with hard evidence, no one's going to listen. But I hope your day is going well, Mo. I really appreciate it. Oh my, that's right. So what I'm saying is... The convict had nothing. Nothing he could use for any kind of bargaining at all. The witness makes an astute point logically. It would seem no negotiation could have taken place. And yet the plan to break the man out of prison was definitely put into practice. Aren't they cute, Nia? Most mosey moats are very cute. So he must have been armed with something that gave him an angle to negotiate. Ba, ba, ba. So Sogi san agreed to confess to his crimes because he was assured he'd be broken out of prison later. I really don't think that Kazuma sama's father could, would have engaged in such negotiations. And perhaps something compelled him to agree. What a terrible thing. Isn't the law to legitimize such underhanded dealings with a dis uh, desperate man? Only to double cross. Oh, only to double cross him in the end. It's quite the opposite of justice. I can't help feeling there's something about this apparent negotiation that doesn't quite add up. Something doesn't quite add up, Mr. Naruto? No, it doesn't. But I can't quite put my finger on what yet. Well, in that case. We must keep digging until we identify the problem. No, we're gonna go ahead and skip to the problematic statement. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna actually present some evidence here because if we recall the Asogi papers, he said... I, Genshin, oh god, I, Genshin Asoki, hereby request that upon my death, any and all material possessions and wealth belonging to me in the London be delivered to my son, Kazumi, uh, Kazuma, Kazuma Asoki, in the Empire of Japan. Also, there's an ad coming y'all way. Yep, there it goes. So, we will be right back. <laughs> 